I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some halal fun. Now, as usual, you know, Muslims in the comment section, when we make a video, uh, you know, we stay for five hours asking Muslims to call us. And then when we leave, suddenly every Abdul follower of the God of the Muta is a hero. I mean, we stay hour after hour and say any Abdul who want to call us, who want to join us nobody as dead as their God and their prophet and then you will see Abdul saying like this guy his name is Abdullah he says I'm willing to debate the Christian Prince Christian Prince are you willing to debate me and for sure Christian Prince is afraid now and this is why he came online today because he's aware uh, sorry he's worried that you might call him come to my stream right now what about you make your stream and you call me still doesn't matter I will call you give me here we go give me your sky potatoes potatoes go to your stream give me your Skype and I will call you no problem potatoes then we go to other Abdul let me see I'm looking for the comment uh, you know the Abdul are very excited and uh, you know the more they try to defend actually the more they insult their God and we make make us laugh at them and this is actually the purpose of what we do here is to show the Christians how easy it, it is to show you uh, the stupidity of this cult. And those who follow this cult is really, they are no better. I mean, you cannot be a person who is really intelligent and you believe there's a God who will make your penis endless because you bow down for him and you kill some Christians and Jews. And then when you go to heaven, if you are murder, Allah will make a green bird. The end of the day, you are a green chicken. We are chicken here, or chicken there, doesn't matter. Um, I'm just looking for the comment. I hope they did not delete them. Uh, one of the Muhammadan, he said, where is the comment? One of the Muhammadan, he said, why the God of the Christians, he uh, blamed the women Blame all the women for the for for the act of one woman. Uh, let us see where we can find it. Maybe here. Okay. So here we have this Abdul. Let us see this one first. Christian saying God is the truth. Christian also saying that all truth and reasons come from God. Christian also claimed that God is a trinity. Trinity is a square circle. The trinity is a contradiction. This is mean the Christian truth is a square circle. <laughs> and I answered him yesterday. This is from yesterday at night. I love the Muslim philosophy, especially if the source of the truth is coming from the Shin Allah, by the way. Is it circle square, which means the shin? <laughs> uh, 
And then uh, here he said to me, you are talking about lizard. Isn't it your Bible that says that God cursed snakes because of one snake, Genesis 3? Uh, you see, you are an ignorant again, and I can show you the same story in your books. And that's why we laugh at Muslims when they try to make themselves uh, a winner. You see, my God, when he curses a snake, uh, because Satan, he presents the snake. However, it is amazing that your prophet, he described Islam as a snake. And all of us with you that the snake is a truly the enemy of the man. No man would like to live in a place there is a snake with him, unless he is something, you know, something wrong with him. If we go what we see what Muhammad said, uh, and as you see, you know, we don't say things without proofs and reference. I'm just finding the hadith. Uh. And now you will say to me, well, uh, the Prophet, he is not describing Islam as a snake, but he is describing Islam where it's coming from. And that even will be more stupid of you to say, because, uh, you know, uh, if Islam is going back to where it's coming from, and that is a hole of a snake, that means Islam is really a snake. And even your God, Allah, name is a snake. You know, if we draw right now the name of Allah, uh, let us see. Okay, let us put the hadith here. Give me a second. The snake God and the snake religion and the snake prophet. What is left? Let us see. This website is not opening, so I'm trying. I'm not sure why this website is not working. Let us see. Yes, guys, is the uh, sunnah.com is working for you? If somebody was able to open the hadith of sunnah.com about the snake, posted the link, and then for some reason, I could not, it's not loading with me. <coughs> I will try to refresh my page. Okay. Here we go. I, I, it's, it's working now, actually. It's working. I, I made it. Uh, it it's fine. So look what uh, your uh, uh, stupid prophet said. You just admitted that God, he cursed the snake. The snake actually is an animal. 
We are not talking really about a snake as a snake. We are talking about the devil. However, every snake is an enemy for a human being. So now, human being, he lost his security, and a snake is going to be his enemy. Now, if we ask you why a snake should bite the man, you say because she is a snake. Thank you very much. Here, we see that Muhammad describing the religion of Allah. And he is the one is saying, and this is Sahih Hadith. Verily, Islam is started as something strange, and I agree, it's very strange, stupid cult. It would again revert between two brackets, this is a Muslim translation, not mine, to its old position of being strange, which means few people will believe in it, just as it started, and it would rekeyed between the two mosques just as a serpent crawls back in its hole if we go right now and we check uh, what this guy is speaking about we will find that this is exactly what the bible described that snake the serpent and then you ask yourself how it is possible that the Satan in the Bible is the serpent and then the serpent in Islam is Islam he quoted for us Genesis number 3 and we will go there You can read any translation you wish, you know. The serpent, which is presenting the devil, is Islam. And this is coming from the mouth of Muhammad himself. Now ask yourself, why Muhammad, from all the creatures in this earth, He chose the serpent, a serpent. Any Muslim can tell us? Any Muslim can have explanation for us why Muhammad he chose the serpent? I mean, is a serpent present something good in Islam? Anyone? Why he did not say like a lion? Why he did not say like a fox? Uh, you know, why he did not say uh, like a dove? You know, isn't Islam is peace as Muslim they claim? So why Muhammad he described Islam as a serpent? Any Muslim? In fact, the Muslim believe that there's a serpent protecting the Kaaba. And they have videos about it in YouTube. Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? One of the tools of Allah in the punishment of the grave, Allah he will send a bold serpent who torture the Muslim in his grave for his sin. Like he took, let us say he took someone, he's a Christian as a friend. So Allah he will send the serpent. If we go right now and we search in the hadith, And we try to find what and how the Muslims see a snake. The short-tailed snake and the snake having stripes over it should be killed. You see, remember the question of this guy saying, why 
you know, all the snake is cursed. You know, what is that? Why all the snakes should be killed? This is your prophet. And here is even describing some snakes and he claimed that they are genie, Satan. Your prophet, he says, delivering a sermon saying, kill snakes, all snakes, and kill the one who have etc. description too, because the Arab used to spare those. And kill the one who have a short tail. So if we take your question, which is supposedly an, an expose to the Christian belief, how that will work for you? Why your prophet he is saying you kill the snake? Right? And then this guy in, in the same post, uh, uh, he questioned why God he is punishing the women, all the women, when one woman is the one who commits sin. Let me see if I can find uh, his comment. Let us see. Ah, and he made a comment actually before we go there. He said, Jeremiah, he said, your God is a deceiver, the, the, um, uh, Zechariah Abdullah saying, by the way, change your name because Zechariah mean the one who belongs to, Yah to Yahweh. So you Muslims are stupid when you call yourself Zechariah, copying a name from the Old Testament because that will make you not worshiping Allah. That will make you a person who worship Yahweh. You are stupid like your prophet again. So he said, in Jeremiah 27, it says, you, de you, you deceived me. Lord, I was deceived. You overpowered me, and etc. So if you read the verse, you will see that the person is speaking that I've been deceived because you give me power. He is giving himself an excuse. You give me, you know, I've been deceived because I thought I am strong, I am etc. And then I found that I am nobody. So this is what he meant. And it's not God saying I'm a deceiver, you stupid son of Muta. But if we go in the Quran, we will find your God is the one who deceived everybody to commit sin. This person. In Jeremiah, he is saying, you deceived me because you gave me health, you gave me power, and I thought I can do everything. I thought I can depend in myself. But if we go in the Quran, we will see the deception, which is deception, where it says the one who deceived by Allah, nobody can guide him. And the funny, this verse was uh, given by Muhammad, or given to Muhammad, supposedly. When Muhammad, he could not explain why people they are not accepting Islam. Muhammad he wanted to give himself an excuse and as usual he is a fool like the rest of them. So look what he said. And this is the Muslim translation not my translation. So he said then what is the matter with you that you are divided in two parties about the hypocrite. Allah cast them back to this belief. <laughs> who is the one who cast him <laughs> you see there the verse you quote from me from the bible is about a person saying I've been deceived because what you gave me and this is the case for everybody human being when he's healthy when he is wealthy he think he is God he think this is, what, this is how atheism actually is established because they think they do not need God and as long they are doing fine, why we need God? And then one day, when the guy is dying, you know, he starts saying, God, help me. You know, the second you are weak, you remember God. The second you are strong, you don't believe in God. And who is the one who gave you strength? God. So the deception you are talking about is not God really deceiving the person. It's the person deceiving himself by what God gave him. So if a person, he was a fool, that is not an excuse. However, here, who can really can stop the deception of Allah? Read with me the Quran saying, do you want to guide him whom Allah made go astray? In Arabic, actually, it doesn't say go astray. It says yudlil. Yudlil means deceive. So Allah is making it so clear that 
the ones I deceived and all mankind are deceived by Allah. He is a serpent. And this is why his name looked like a serpent. If we write the name of Allah in the screen, I will use my mouse. You know, I don't have a pen, screen pen or something. So let us use to do this. This is your God. This is the name of your God. It is literally a snake. If you write it in full to make you happy, that will be like this. But the real name is this one. La. Alhamdulillah. The moon god. So your God Allah, his name is written in Arabic as a snake. And you know, like in the old days, in the ancient time, they used to use a drawing to make words. So the name Allah, it doesn't look like a snake, like as an accident, and like maybe it, eh, it's happening this way. No, this is a very ancient name worshipped by many, many, many generations for thousands of years before Muhammad. And La is nothing but a snake. And those people, when they make a language, simply they draw images, like the same as like if you if you read the Chinese uh, uh, Chinese language, you know you will see like the house <coughs> is a is a drawing of a house, you know. So they draw images to present what they are talking about. The same as like the Indian in the old days, the American Indian. Here we see that Allah is saying that are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? And then you ask yourself here. So Muhammad was sent to guide who? You can change, by the way, the translation to any translation you want, you know, any translation you wish, other than they are stupid, but just for the sake of entertainment. You know, we are laughing and Islam is a joke. So what is the purpose of this uh, a God who do uh, cause people to go astray? And here you will see something unique about this verse. Some translation they say that you made me, you, you misguided me. You misguided me. Until now, we see translation saying, go astray. But it's the same at the end of the day. But this is not really accurate for the Arabic. Because it says, you made me, you misguided me. Uh, 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 using the word, uh, deceive me. So, you deceived me, and you made me go astray. And the one who Allah sent astray, you will never find for him away between to bracket guidance will all the people of Quraysh and according to Muslims all the people in the time of Muhammad they were misguided who is the one who misguided them Allah so how you are going to guide those who are misguided and then here we ask ourselves if the one who misguide people is Allah what is the job of shaitan Even Satan, in Islam, he was misguided by Allah. Let us read together. Chapter 7, verse number 16. Chapter 15, verse number 39. Let us read this one first. <laughs> It turned to be that shaitan is a victim of Allah too. You see, the Muslim, they claim that the one behind every sin they do is shaitan. But as you see, shaitan 
was himself been deceived by Allah. Allah, he did not say that not, I did not do that to you. He confirmed that. And here, as long as we are in the chapter speaking about Adam and Eve, because later he said, uh, Christian Prince, can you answer this one? And let me see if I can find it. Uh, let us see. In which comment he said about Eve? Okay. Maybe here, let's see this one here. Uh, I'm just looking at the comment, trying to find his comment so we can laugh. I'm not sure where it is. Maybe he deleted. So he said uh, that why your God, he is punishing the women, all the women, because of one woman mistake. Let us read the Quran together and see if that is true or not. You know, God, he never punished the women. Uh, only God, he punished the men and the women. And that is showing you the hypocrisy of the Muhammadan. So, when we go in the story in, uh, in Genesis, actually, we will find that the story describing for us that both Adam and Eve, they committed sin, and both Adam of Eve and Eve, they were punished. And each one of them, his punishment was, was uh, uh, severe, and the number one severe punishment, both of them, they would die. <clears throat> and the reason of that would be many, would be sick, you know, snake, whatever, you know, you are exposed. You are exposed because of your sin. You are not, not in heaven no more. So you chose not to be in heaven, then this is your, I told you from the beginning, if you eat from this tree, you die. Hmm? Then we, uh, uh, when we read in the Quran, we will see the story of Adam and Eve, and it is really funny. Here it says, Allah, he said to Adam, do will you and your wife, and by the way, nowhere in the Quran even says who is the wife of Adam. Maybe it was Shakira. In paradise, and eat therefore as, as you both wish, but approach not from this tree. Here, this is a copy of what is written in the Bible, obviously, right? And later, we will go and see the interpretation for this verse, because later, you know, the, 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 the interpretation for those verses, you will make your die laughing, and you will see how Muhammad, he have no idea what he's talking about. So go and eat uh, from everything in the, in the paradise, but don't eat from the tree. Okay, wonderful. And then, Satan... He whispered to them. He wanted them to know what this God is hiding from them. And he said to them, Your Lord didn't forbid you this tree save yourself become an angels or become immorals or mortals and here you see the stupidity of this uh, uh, statement because adam he live in heaven so why he wouldn't he would die anyway he's already immortal this is what immortal is about you know you live forever you are in heaven uh, When, when the Quran tried to copy a statement from the Old Testament, he add his own flavor and he mix it with the, with different, uh, you know, a, a story. And Muhammad trying to make it look nicer, maybe it look even more convincing from the Old Testament of the Jews. 
So he say, uh, and shaitan swore by Allah to them both, saying, Verily, I am one of sincere will or, or you know, uh, wishers for you both. And here you're seeing that the shaitan he is swearing by Allah, which is proving that shaitan is a Muslim. And actually, Muhammad he confirmed that in many occasions. And then when they, or he mislead them with deception. And when they tasted from the tree, which was hiding from them, or uh, hiding from them, yeah, of their shame, private part, they become manifest to them. And they began to stick together the leaves. Hmm. Interesting. But if you, before you go here, if we go back, you will see already Shaitan, he told Allah, I am, because you mislead me, I'm going to mislead them. Do you see it? Because you mislead me, I'm going to mislead them. Allah, he ordered shaitan to get out of heaven. <laughs> Allah, he ordered Adam to stay in heaven. Allah, he kicked Shaitan from heaven, but Shaitan is in heaven still. <laughs> you know, one of the funny things that Muhammad and they say, if Allah want to do something, he say B is going to be. So here we go. Allah, he said to Shaitan, get out of it between two bracket paradise. Disgraced, expelled. Hmm? And here you see the stupidity of this Quran. So whoever of mankind will follow you, but there is no mankind except in paradise. And he is not going to be in paradise no more. What, what mankind? This is the time of Adam and Eve. So whoever of mankind who and the question you need to ask yourself, after he kicked him out of paradise, and the Muslim, they say, if Allah, he say a word, the word will happen immediately. So Allah decided to do, uh, to, to serve eviction uh, paper to Iblis. And the eviction paper says, you leave immediately. This is the order of Allah. Now, do you think Iblis, he was taking his baloney? I like the word baloney in English. Hmm? Why Iblis is still in heaven? So Allah he came out of heaven, and then Iblis he came back to them in heaven. Maybe he have a double key. I mean, think about it. He's Shaitan, man, Shaitan, Oman, Rabbi Oman. So Shaitan was kicked out, and now Shaitan is coming back to deceive them. Now going back to our topic. When this Abdul, he said that why your God, he blamed women for all the sin, all the women for the sin of one woman. Let us go. And actually, I gave him uh, a quotation from his Quran, but he's a, you know, they are stupid. They make fun of their own religion, by the way, when they make those things. They forgot that their prophet is a thief. And most of the stories he have it there is coming from different books, obviously. So Muhammad, he said, That if not Eve, no woman betray her husband. So when the son of Muta is saying that the Bible, why the Bible is saying that women, all women, would be punished for the sin of Eve? The Bible says men and women, both of them, they are out of heaven, and both of them, they are going to be punished for their sin. Not women only, you are, a, you, are a, you are a scam like your prophet. But I find it very irony and funny that a Mohammedan who believed that his mother, if she been divorced by his father three times, his mother, she have to go and get ifed by a new husband in order to go back to her children's. And he is talking now, what is the fault a woman she did? Let me ask you, what is the fault your mother she did 
when she was divorced by her husband three times. Chapter 2, verse number 230. What about your prophet, Aka Allah, Aka the snake, say, if the man he divorced his wife three times, she cannot go back to him unless he got ifed himself by somebody, because he is the one who divorced her. So what is the fault of the women in this case to the point she have to go and get ifed by a new guy so she can go back to the previous guy? I mean, even people who buy sex toys, they will not use a sex toy used by somebody else. Where is the respect of women? Where is the respect of your mother? So now your father, he divorced your mother. And hold, 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 what, 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 what here? I'm going to stop here. Why your father, he divorced your mother? We will find the answer in the Quran. Allah, he decided to open a Hoributar school. He sent two angels. One, his name is Harut, and the other name is Marut. Sound like Armenian. So Allah, he sent in chapter 2, verse 102, two angels from Hoributar movie, and their job, Harut and Mamarut, they land down in the Babylon Tower. You know, it makes sense. You know, I mean, they are coming from sky, and they need a ladder to come down, and the Babylon Tower at that time was the highest. Like, you know, the tower of, of uh, in the, in the, in Paris, in Paris, you know. So, makes sense. This is not a fiction story. This is a true story. So, they come down in this tower, Harut and Marut. And then from the window of the tower, they put a sign saying, Okay, we are two angels and we are going to teach you black magic. All right? And this black magic was revealed by Allah to the angels. Look who is the one who taught them. The big Hoributar is Allah. He taught the angels black magic. And what is the purpose of the Hori Buddha school by Harut and Marut? Peace be upon them. It says, to, and by the way, before you join the school, disclaimer, they make you sign disclaimer. It says, the angel would say, we do not teach anyone unless they say, we are a trial. So don't disbelieve by practicing magic. Like what the heck? So you open a school to teach them how to practice magic and you are saying to them, don't practice magic. So what the point? The brother and sisters. Ah, here we go. This is the Abdul. Ah. Ah. Guys, this is the Abdul, Zakaria. Abdul. Uh, Zakaria, why you don't call me? As long you are a person who have a questions, and we will make you ask the same exact question live on air, and people they will hear you respond. What do you think, guys? Do you think this potato he dare to call me? Right now. You ask me the question, and we will laugh together. Lul, the punishment for women was pain when giving birth. What was the punishment for the man? And the hadith you quoted doesn't say anywhere. This is about Eve eating from the tree. Which hadith? Why you don't call me and tell me what hadith I'm talking? You are talking about Eve? Hmm? Well, look what your prophet saying. Your prophet saying that every woman, according to Muhammad, not according to me, is a whore. Because Eve, she was a whore and she betrayed her husband. Let us go back to the hadith so everybody will laugh at you. Here we go. The prophet said, had not, if it had been of the children of Israel, meat will not decay. So your stupid prophet claim that the meat decay because of the Jews. He blamed the Jews for everything, even the beef damage because of uh, the Jews. And then he said, if not been for Eve, a woman would never have acted unfaithfully toward her husband. Actually, this is false translation. It says, khanat, khanat, which means betray. If you go down here, you see, they are saying here, and faithfully, that's a false translation. Here we go. This is the correct translation, Sahir Bukhari. It says, if we are not the children of Israel, meat would not decay. And if we are not of Eve, no woman would ever betray her husband. So you're a stupid prophet claiming that the woman, she betrayed her husband and she was a whore. And actually, 
I can show you your prophet saying against uh, Hawa. He said that each time Hawa uh, wanted to have a son, his son died, her son died. So Satan, he came to her and he told her, if you name your son the slave of shaitan, he will not die. Let me see if we can find the hadith here. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> uh. All right, let's see this one. This one should work. Here we go. The prophet Sousa said, when Hawa, which means Eve, became a pregnant, the bliss came to her and he and her children would not live after birth. And here you ask yourself, the Muslim, they claim that the death and life is only in the hand of Allah. It turned to be shaitan, he have control of death and life too. He said, name him Abdul Harith, which means the slave of shaitan. So she named him Abdul Harith and he lived and now we ask the stupid muhammad if the first child for eve was abdul harith what is the first child name in the quran for adam and eve <laughs> it turned to be the story in the quran of cain and abel is a is a lie the first baby, his name is Abdul Harith. And no child will live unless you call him a slave of shaitan, Abdul Harith. This is one of the names of shaitan, Harith. Do you see it? So now how Muhammad can fix this stupidity? If the first baby ever born and lived for Eve, his name is Abdul Harith. Who are they, the children of Adam, Cain and Abel? Are you there as a Karayah? Do you, are you going to play dead? Are you going to play dead now? He will play dead. But we are not done. We are not done. Allah, he said, that Allah, he punished uh, Eve, And he said to her, you are going to be forced to be bretnet. And you are going to be forced to deliver it. You hate it. And you are going to be forced to have two menstruation a month. Hey, Muslims, you, you Muslim women, they have two menstruation a month? That's strange, man. Let me show you the reference. Uh... <laughs> And now, you know, it looked like this guy, he did not read my response. They are stupid. Uh, as long you are saying that why God in the Bible, and I will go there to show, to show you what God, he punished the man too. You are a stupid like your prophet. Uh, when your God, he says, I made you, and he's speaking about all the females, not only Eve. And this is the interpretation. Here we go. This is the official website of the government of Saudi Arabia. This is Tafsir al baghawi the master of uh, Osama bin Laden, Ibn Kathir. And here it says, An Ibn Abbas, which means coming from his prophet, because Ibn Abbas he report what he learned from his prophet. He said, when he asked Adam, 
why you did this? He said, well, Lord, Eve, she decorated that for me. He said, all right, I will punish her that she will not get a, a great net except by force rape and she will not get delivery except by force and she hated karhan which means something she hate badly and i will make her bleed twice a month and let us see the translation maybe you might say chris it doesn't say that cp eh? No, no, I have a different solution. It is a weak hadith. <laughs> they found a solution. I mean, you know, a weak hadith. Islam is a weak. Everything in Islam is weak. Let us change the language. Go to English. All right. Translate. And let me share the link with you. Hmm? So the story here is about how Adam was deceived, uh, supposedly by the serpent. And here we see, you know, the when the Muslim they speak about the serpent, what the problem with the serpent? Even your stupid religion, copy the story from the Bible and that make you an idiot again, a mule. Then when Allah, he asked Adam, why you did this? What was the reason you did this? Uh, let us see. All of this is an attack on Eve. Okay. So, an Iblis, when you know, uh, uh, because Satan went to, to enter, this is a false translation, it's not Jesus, uh, to Adam and Eve, uh, prevented him, okay, and the servant was, uh, 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 and it was a friend of Shaitan. <laughs> it was one of the best animals. It had, it had four legs, like four. <laughs> hey guys, Snake used to have four legs like 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 a camel. <laughs> I mean, who can beat that? Let us be honest. Who can beat that? So the snake, Mrs. Snake, she was a friend to Iblis. And she was one of the best animals, brother. Brothers and sisters. We will explain to you in details what happened. Mrs. Snake, she was a camel. Yes, brother. Okay? She was a camel, I'm telling you. And then, where is the verse? Hold on. So she was a snake, yes, but she had four legs like a camel. And she was the best of animals. And then, and it was one of the reservoirs of the paradise. Then Satan asked them to put him in her mouth. That's deep. Hmm. So Shaitan, he asked the snake if he can go inside her. Now, I'm sure Zachariah, he wished he would never answer these questions because now everybody is laughing at this cartoon. See what you did to your prophet? Everybody is dying laughing at your religion. So Shaitan, he asked, the snake, can you put me inside you from your mouth? Hmm? And here they are trying to explain to you, you see the question I ask? How Shaitan was able to get in after Allah kicked him out? <laughs> Hold on, I need my coffee. I forgot my coffee in the other room. Just hold on. <laughs> well, 
one day I will one day I will die in this chair laughing. What a good death. So Muhammad he is trying to explain his stupidity. How he told them that Shaitan is already out of paradise and how he got in again. So Shaitan, brothers and sisters, huh? this guy has zero evidence. Uh, guys, listen, listen. This guy, he has zero evidence. I'm showing Tafsir al baghawi I'm showing the official Islamic website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. I'm showing the interpretation of the story of Ibn Abbas. And now the Abdul, how he respond to this? Very easy. Doesn't say that CP. He have zero evidence CP. Everybody knows. Look, this hadith is reported by Susu. Susu told Mumu and Mumu told Fifi. And Fifi is very well known to be a liar, so it is not valid. <laughs> Do you see how easy they can refute you? Then you ask yourself, if those stories are not valid, why they are in the most important books to explain the Quran? Al-Baghawi, the Imam Al-Baghawi explaining the Quran and none of you Muslims say, hey, get lost. It doesn't say that, Baghawi. How come none of you says to Al-Baghawi, it doesn't say that, Baghawi. But you say that to me. So let us laugh and now you became a victim of your stupidity. Keep posting those questions, trying to defend Islam, but we laugh at you at the end. So brothers and sisters, the treasury brother, the guards, Allah have guards in the heaven. Do you remember Muhammad, he went to the seventh heaven? Even Jibreel, he could not get in. He knocked at the door. The angels did not, did not even recognize Jibreel. They said, who is there? He said, I'm Jibreel. They said, who is with you? They said Muhammad. <laughs> so the stupid Muhammad now trying to explain how shaitan he get in. Aha! He did go inside the snake. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, f -f 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 Man, there's a different story, by the way. Uh, uh, there's an animal, it's called Al Khuld. Let me see if what is the name. You know, this uh, this animal who dig in the ground is he's, he's harmless, he's not like a you know, L let me show you his picture. I don't know what the name is. Uh, okay, it's uh, Mollis. They call him Mollis. Mollis, right? Let me show you the picture here. Now you know what I'm talking about. You know, if I'm not saying the name uh, correctly, you know what I'm talking about. So this is an animal who dig under the ground. So there's the other story here in the same in the same uh, uh, you know page that Shaitan he got in again. He, in this time, he was using this animal to get inside the heaven. And that makes sense, because this guy, he can dig under the door, brother. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, who can beat Muhammad's stories? Nobody can beat the stories, all right? So if you go here where it says uh, Hassan, uh, let us see where it says Hassan. Hold on. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, the translation here is not showing this anymore. You see the translation he's saying coming as immoral. This is not really the trans correct translation. It was about an animal, you know, uh, who is supposed he was helping them. Now a Muslim, he says, Oh, no, this is about a tree. Well, you know, the Arabic it says here, let me see, let me uh, show the Arabic. So either your Arabic is a stupid, 
and he, he meant to, to say it's a, a moral or mortal, sorry, or he is speaking about the animal. Here it says, uh, he said, if it is khuldan, if it is, what it is, what is that? And then shaitan, he took advantage of that, and he came from the direction of al-khuld. So maybe what is meant here, it's about a mortal, and maybe it's about an animal, it's not really clear. However, Shaitan, if he heard him, he heard him saying, maybe, maybe I can be a mortal. This is what it's meant in Arabic. And then Shaitan, he used that to get him, let us say, deceive him. Maybe this is what it meant. But Al-Khuld is an animal who go under the ground and he dig. However, in the story here, the Muslim, they focus in the snake, which is... Uh, allow shaitan to go inside her from her mouth and by doing that he was able to go through the guards so here you see Always Google translation will not be very much accurate, but we are trying our best, you know, to to use it. So when the ser a serpent, he was a friend to Shaitan, and it was one of the best animals. It had four legs, like legs of camel. That you can imagine how high the, the the snake was. I mean, do you know how big the the legs of the camel? They are like I don't know, five foot, four four foot high, depending on the size of the camel. So the serpent, the snake, used to be an animal with four legs and they are so big and it was the best animal in paradise and then shaitan he asked her to go inside her mouth and she let him get in and by doing that he was able to go through the guards while the guards do not know so she entered paradise and here you ask yourself what does that mean in order for the snakes to get into paradise, that means she was out of paradise. So why she is allowed to enter to paradise if she is exist already out of paradise? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Was this a snake living abroad and came back? <laughs> How the snake, she enter paradise unless she is was out of paradise but if you go back here it says that this is was the best animal in paradise how she is the best animal in paradise and now she is entering paradise that means she is out of paradise so maybe this is snake according to muslims uh, you know Adam and Eve they live inside the paradise but the snake she's allowed to go out and you know take selfie and you know enjoy the world and you know go to, to Niagara Falls and to China and visit the wall of the Chinese and eat their food spicy food yummy yummy you know so this serpent story is really amazing brother hmm? and not only that actually uh, In the story, uh, when the shaitan he enter into the into the snake, let me see uh, the translation really is not uh, giving it uh, it's it's right. Um, yeah, uh, Ibn Abbas, when when shaitan he deceived Adam, uh, and Allah, he ordered him to, you know, to uh, uh, to get out. Allah, he asked Adam, how this happened? How you ate from this tree and I told you not to eat? He said, Satan, he swear to me by Allah. <laughs> and this is exactly what the Quran said. The Quran says, that shaitan he swear by Allah that he is telling the truth to Adam 
And Adam believed him because Shaitan he swear by Allah. If you read here with me, the rest, uh, Hassan he saw only at the gate of paradise because they were both coming out of it. And Adam was when he entered paradise, he saw that what was in it, in it or of Iblis. The translation here is not really, uh, you know, uh, too good uh, to understand, but we will rephrase. Uh, Al Hassan saying that when Shaitan he saw him, he saw them first time, he saw them in the door of the heaven because they were getting out. What the heck? But the Quran saying that Shaitan he whispered to them when they are in the heaven. So how Shaitan he saw them when they are getting inside the heaven? So the Muslim now they are trying to fix the problem, saying that Shaitan he told them to eat from the tree before they get into the heaven. But if we go in the Quran, we will see that's not true. Read with me carefully. Allah, he ordered shaitan already to get out of the heaven. Allah said to Adam and Eve, live in the heaven. Don't eat from the tree. Shaitan, then he whisper to them. And this is why we see here in the story, they are trying to explain how shaitan was getting in when he was really kicked out already, so he entered inside the snake, and this is why Allah, he cursed the snake, because the snake, she allowed shaitan to get in, sneaking into the guard, and this is why she called the snake. So brother Zachariah, are you proud? Hmm? Any, any Zachariah uh, here? In fact, your prophet, he said the snake is a shaitan. Muhammad, he said, when you see a snake in your house, give him a warning to get out. The superstition, Muhammad. If he did not, if the snake did not leave after three days, he is a shaitan. Do you see it? Are you there, Zechariah? Prove the narration is Sahih. Well, I do not need to prove it. You need to prove it yourself. This is in your book, you stupid son of Muta. Are you asking me to prove that this is authentic? Is something written by your scholars in your book explaining the Quran? Isn't it? This is really awkward. So are you saying to me, you potato, that you Muslims are a bunch of a fraud? And you put in your books things which is not authentic donkey. And by the way, your prophet, he married Zainab with me to Jash. Zainab, the daughter of the donkey, and his last name was a dog. So don't speak about animals. So when you ask me to prove it to you, that is the most awkward request ever from someone he believe in a stupid God. His name is Allah. Because if this is not the narration is authentic. Why your stupid Muslim scholars and the official government website of Saudi Arabia use it to explain the Quran? This is the logic of the generation of the muta. Prove to me my religion. Can you believe what he just said to me? I challenge you. 
to prove that this is authentic. You stupid, you just screwed yourself. Because if it's not authentic and you Muslim use it, that means you are a fraud and you are not a trustworthy. Because why you use something not authentic to explain the Quran? Huh? Keep them coming, keep them coming. Yeah, post more. Come on, don't stop, don't stop. You know, we, you are the best comedy ever we have. Why you don't call me, man? Call me, call me. Allah will reward you, will make your penis longer. Your penis now is getting smaller and smaller each time you say something. Maybe you can get a victory. Hmm? And this is your prophet saying shaitan and a snake is one. Huh? Are you there? And then you are, and this is a say sahih. I challenge you to show me this is authentic. I challenge you, okay? We Muslim, we lie a lot. We have a lot of lies about our Prophet. We say things the Prophet never said. We are Muslims, remember? We are daif. We are very daif, like Allah, diarrhea. Are you there? Hmm? And then, Brother and sisters, Allah He decide to punish Eve. Let us go back. We are not done, are we? So Allah He does. He do, you know He wanted to punish Eve. <laughs> so Shaitan He swear by Allah. Shaitan He swear by Allah. Adam He believed Shaitan because He swear by Allah. <laughs> and by the way, do you know where Adam he leaned down? Let me show you here. The easiest way is to search for a word in the translation. Brother, brother. And then Allah, he sent him down to the earth, meaning Adam and Eve, Satan and serpent, all of them in one location. Where? In India, brother. In a mountain called Nud. Nud. Ah. Aha. Yeah, makes sense. At that time, if she have no bra. Aha. Do you remember Mufti uh, uh, Mink when he said that Allah he sent Adam to India, Sri Lanka specifically, brother? Let me let me uh, let me find the video so we can love more. Oh look, still I have this video from yesterday. Oh boy, I click at YouTube page, and then okay, uh, you know I just forgot what I was going to talk about. What was the topic? This is an Islamic Dawa TV, by the way, in case you do not know. <laughs> stop, stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> Need a search for the for Mufti Mink, Mink is better. All right. Uh, You know, I find it very funny that a Muslim is speaking about logic. You know, logic, I mean, come on, this is a religion of logic. Huh? What's wrong with people? Why they don't see the truth? A Muslim, he want to teach you about logic. Listen carefully and enjoy. And if those references are not true, why your scholars are quoting them? He, he, was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped, but Allah placed him on the earth. Where? This we find in the narration of Rasulullah where he says, that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came down in what is known as the Indo-Pak subcontinent. 
precisely precisely sri lanka oh boy there is a mount there known as adam's peak that's deep if you go there uh -huh. you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth but it is i'm not trying to imply anything like right away he have to say, but hey, hey, so you know, I did not say it is not from heaven. No, 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 I did not because they will kill him. You know, terrorism. But I'm just saying it is so beautiful. Maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. Hmm. But it's a beautiful place. It is. It is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? Where, where? In Jidda. Oof, 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 oof. Where is Jidda? Where? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula. Oof, in oof. What we know today as Saudi Arabia. Brother and sisters, true story. So you see how Allah is merciful? Allah, he sent the wife and the husband in one location. There's only a few thousand miles between them. In the time when there is no airplane, there is no cars. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You know, by the way, Zachariah, I wasn't planning to come today, but thank you. You, you encouraged me to come. So, guys, let us open the map. I will open the map, what we can do. I mean, what we have no solution. Uh, <laughs> Zachariah. <laughs> yeah, remember the name of Zachariah, what he mean. He is copying a name, proving his prophet to be false. Because Yahweh is not part of his religion. What a fraud cult. The stupid Muhammad, he copy names. Not only he copies stories. And the more he copy, the more he get himself screwed. So this is, brother and sisters, this is Sri Lanka. Brothers. Vogas, Vogas with me. This is Sri Lanka. Look, let us, let us, let us zoom in Sri Lanka. So brother Adam was sent here and Sri Lanka is not connected to India. You see here, there's a, there's a missing link here. There's, you cannot walk. This is a very a huge distance. It might be looked like small in the map, but it's not something you can cross by swimming unless you are like me, maybe Superman, man, I'm unbelievable. You know, by the way, once I was swimming, I crossed the Atlantic, the Pacific, uh, the you know I I, I went to uh, the, uh, the the North Pole and then the South Pole but I have to be honest in the North Pole I froze I mean I was really so cold but thanks to Allah I recite the chapter of Horni in the Quran and I get so hot you know and that was a solution and this is a true story and this is not authentic hadith <laughs> so look what happened. Allah, he sent, and a Muslim, he speak always about logic. Like, how, can you debate us about the Trinity? Every Muslim want to debate you about the Trinity. The Trinity is not logical, brother. But there are prophets saying, Shaitan, sorry, Allah, he sent Shaitan and Adam in Sri Lanka. Any Sahih hadith proof that Adam landed in Sri Lanka? You son of Muta, are you okay? Are you okay? So guys, any Sahih hadith prove that Adam was landed in Sri Lanka. So if it is not Sahih Hadith, why you Muslims are using it? And why you don't go there and get him busted? Why we don't see one Muslim saying this is stupid? Can you show me one video of a Muslim from those who they try to respond to us, that those dummies who don't dare to call me, saying this is not true? Go ahead. The second we read it and we show people how stupid Islam is, you take a turn and you say, show me, show me where is the proof that Adam landed in Sri Lanka. Can you show me? Hmm. I just did, you idiot. I just showed you the Muslim books, your scholars, the companions, and even your prophet quotations. When a Muslim, he try to deny what is written in his books. This is a clear sign of shame. You know, this is a clear sign of shame. Because why they want to deny something? They believe in it for the last 1400 years. And if it's not true, why it is in their books? 
and why their sheikhs they speak about it even in TV. After we caught it, they bite their tongue and their tail and they see how stupid their religion is. So what we do? We go in the state of denial and we deny what it says. But remember one thing, Abdul. Those things will not help you because you deny as much as you want. It is there. And people are laughing at you. And when you ask me to prove to you and you are yet the Muslim and yet this is your books and then you say to me can you prove to me authentic Islam is not based, based in anything authentic be my witness Islam is just a bunch of fairy tales Muhammad is a fraud And he is a liar. All reference lead us to one direction. Islam is not authentic. And this is the only way Muslim they think they can defend their religion. In this hadith here in front of me, and this is interpretation here, this is Tafsir uh, Al-Manthur, Ad-Dur Al-Manthur. The same chapter we are reading, verse number 36. Here it says, the same as it says in the other tafsir. And this is reported from Ibn Mas'ud and Ibn Juraj and the companion, and the, for sure they learned that from Muhammad. It says here that Iblis, he, uh, uh, he wanted to enter the heaven after Allah, he ordered Adam and Eve to enter heaven. So he came to the snake. And she was an animal who had four legs, exactly like in that story. And those legs like the legs of a camel. And she was from most beautiful, sexy animal. So he spoke to her to let him get in from her mouth. So she can enter upon into Adam. And she did. And then the snake, she... Uh, uh, went through uh, the guards and she went into like here it says Khazna which is like a board like she goes as, as, as through a board uh, like a clo closet and she entered when they are not Al Khazna sorry he see, I think they mean here Al Khazna not Al Khazna Al Khazna those are the guards yeah so here uh, she entered and the guard did not notice and this is explanation when he spoke, he spoke from her mouth. So according to your stupid Quran, and the explanation from your Quran, which you are making fun of the Bible, the shaitan, he was inside the snake when he spoke to Adam. And he said, Hey Adam, I am going to lead you to the tree of eternity. And you will have eternal kingdom. And he swear by Allah, I am advising you. Adam, he refused to eat from it. Then Eve, she sat and she ate from the tree. And then she said to Adam, why you don't eat from the tree? Nothing happened to me. Eat. So when he ate, they saw their vaginas and their private part. And then here it says, from Ibn Juraj, from Ibn Abbas, he said, that the enemy of Allah, Iblis, aka Satan, he exposed himself to the animals to carry him, so he can enter the heaven. This is what he did to the snake, right? Uh, 
So the snake, she put him between her two, ma her two uh, uh, teeth and she entered him inside her. So when he spoke, he spoke from inside her and she used to be wearing clothing and she used to have four legs. Then Allah, he stripped the snake and he made her walk on her belly. And then Ibn Abbas, he said, kill it wherever you find it. Protect the teaching of Allah. Let us use Google translation. And now this guy, he will say, it doesn't say that, CP. I sentence you to prove to be true, CP. Here we go. Oh boy. We go to the top. This is the book of Adurul Manthur. Hmm? And this is the verse number 36. And this is Ibn Juraj and etc. and Ibn Abbas saying, I don't know why this part did not translate it. Here it says, the rest of what I was reading for you, you know. So uh, Shaitan, he wanted to enter paradise. So he come to the serpent and it was an animal who had four legs, like a legs of a camel. And it was the best of the animals. So he entered in her mouth and between her, her two teeth, the translation is not coming right. And then he said to Adam, shall I guide you for a tree, which you will have eternity and you will have a kingdom will never go away, you know, forever. And then, uh, you know, he spoke through the snake, as you see. Uh, and then here it says, the enemy of Allah, Satan, offered himself to the beast, like the snake, under of the earth, that they would carry him until they entered the paradise with them and spoke to Adam. All the beasts refused to do so until he spoke to the serpent. So your shaitan, he was trying. He went to the rabbit. Hey, rabbit. Uh, uh, Abdullah, I'm talking about you. Hey, rabbit. <laughs> Abdullah, prove to me that you are not a rabbit and you would like to call me. What do you think, guys? Prove to me that you are not a rabbit and you are, shaitan is not inside you, and you call me, what do you think? Are you a rabbit? You are a rabbit, it's for sure. So here, shaitan, he spoke to all animals, all of them they refuse, except the serpent, brother, unbelievable. And you know, remember, Zechariah was saying, why God, he cursed the snake? Why? Why God, he cursed the snake, huh? What the heck is that? What the snake have to do with the story, huh? Zechariah, this is what you said to me, remember? <laughs> Rabbit. Then it says here, so until he spake, spoke to the snake or the serpent, and, uh, you know, uh, and then Allah, he, you know, he said to her, uh, the curse, Allah, he cursed uh, the snake, you know, Allah, he cursed the snake. And then Allah, he took off her clothes and he took off her legs and he made her uh, uh, naked. Brother, is that true? That Allah, he take off her clothes? Huh? You think it's not easy about that? You think it's not easy about that? Yeah? Uh, any Abdul? So when Abdul, he want to speak about logic and about what makes sense and about, uh, you know, is that fair or not fair? Uh, we see that Allah, he punish women. Ah, we missed the part, actually. We did not go to the part where it says, um, uh, I think we skipped that part. Hold on. Allah, he punished, uh, did we show it in the screen where it says that Allah, he punished Eve and he made her have a menstruation twice a week? Did we show that in the screen or not yet? I think we did not. Um, did you read that, uh, that part about Eve?
No? Okay, let's uh, find it in the translation. We'll go back to the previous page. Uh, okay. Let us see. And did I pause the links or not yet? I think I did not. Let me, let, let me pause this one before I forgot. This is the, uh, the Al-Baghawi Tafsir. Let me pause it. And I will pause the other one to you. Save it, make reference about it, the story. And the other one is Durrun Manthur. Oh, this one I need to shorten the link, I will do it later. So I just go back now. Um. All right. So this is the the same page I just posted for you here and here you will see it says let me show you where it says that from Suaid ibn Jubair an Abbas that when Adam he ate from the tree which Allah he forbid him from eating from it uh, Allah said to Adam why you did that he said uh, the one who made that look sound good, it was Eve. And uh, Allah, he said, well, I'm going to punish her. I will I punish her that she will carry child against her will. And she will deliver a child in something in a way she hated. And I will make her bleed ministration twice a month. And that will go to the daughter of Eve, not only for her. All right. In the same page, just to show you how to find this thing here, you will see like this part here is in a brown. You see, it's a brown. All right. So the part which is night right away underneath of it, where you should find this exactly, just to make it easier for you to find that part. You go and find the brown part, like here, in the English translation, we use Google translation. This is the brown part in the in the page. Then here it says, Sa'id ibn Jubair from Ibn Abbas, when Adam ate from the tree, it was, which was forbidden, Allah, he said to, to him, what, what you did? He said, Lord, Eve decorated that to me. So he said, I, I will I punish her, punish her, not flawed her. I punished her. To bear nothing but anyone, which means against her will, and to get uh, to carry a child against her will to hate it, and to get deliver a child against her will to hate it, and she will. This translation is false, and she will bleed it twice a month, and that goes all the way to her daughters. And then the stupid Zechariah was saying to me, "Well, if Eve is the one who did what she did, why what?" happen to Eve as a penalty will go to their children's and here you see that Muslims when they make fun of the Christians believing in the original sin proving to us again that their prophet is a monkey he is like a donkey who carry books in the top of his back as the Quran say yet he do not know what those books mean because you just admitted that the penalty does not go for the sinner only, but for the one who is born of the sinner, according to your belief. Is Zechariah there? And why we are not in heaven right now, Muslims? Is that because only Adam pay for his sin? 
No, because you pay for his sin too. If we go to the hadith, which is again, and this will prove of Muhammad's stupidity, you remember when Adam and Musa's, uh, they have an, a debate. Don't ask me how Adam and Musa's they met. Muhammad, he make everybody meet. I mean, you know the thing. So Adam was accused by Musa that because of you, we are out of heaven. Because of you, we are out of heaven. Adam, he said to Musa, and I see all of this is authentic, very authentic. So the game of authentic, not authentic will not work. So Adam, he said to, to the Musa, are you blaming me for a fate written by Allah before 30, 40 years before my creation? 40 years before my creation, it was a fate. And here we see that all the story in the Quran, which Muhammad is adopting from the Bible, which is half of it is, is fabrication, according to his quotation, is destroyed. Why? Because it was not Shaitan who, you know, who deceived Adam. It was not really Eve. It was the plan of Allah. It was a fate. Do you see it? And this is additional proof too that Musa is a person believe in the original sin, and he is not a Muslim. Because how who are Musa? And suppose this is after death. How Musa? He is a Muslim, and yet he died, and yet he did not know that. Believing in original sin is against Islam. Are we following, guys? We are talking about someone, he is a major prophet according to the Muhammadan. So how this guy, he spent his life as a prophet of Allah. And yet he come accusing Adam of original sin when Muslims do not believe in original sin. So this is a hadith you can use to get them busted when they say that Musa was a Muslim. Additional to that, Muhammad, he agree with the argument of Adam that it was a fate, it was a decree. It was not really his sin. He said to him clearly, do you blame me for an action? Which means you cannot blame me. Do you blame me? Listen carefully. Do you blame me? Let me highlight it if you are blind. For action which Allah had written in my faith 40 years before my creation. So what does that mean? We cannot blame Adam for any sin he did. So all the story the Muslim they come with in the Quran is a fabrication. Because why Allah is asking Adam why you did that if it was a fate anyway and he wrote it for him 40 years. What this drama is about? Do you see the stupidity? If Allah is the one who caused Adam to do it, and he wrote it as a fate, as a decree, then how and why the stupid Allah asking Adam, Ya yeah, Abdul Adam, why you did that, huh? Ya hey Allah, forgive me please Allah, he, he, he made me believe in it. Look, what the heck? It was, a, it was a theater. It was an act. Allah, he wrote the scenario. Adam, he said the words. And Eve, she practiced the movie. It's in the front of you. And that means all our sin is a fabrication in Islam because Allah is the one who decides and he made a sin. If you read here in the story, you will see Adam, he is, you know, he's a crying. He's a crying. Huh? Eve, it was Eve. What, what the heck? And then we find that the, this is not the fault of Eve. It was the fault of the devil Allah. Allah, he made Eve say what she said. Allah, he made Eve act as she act. Allah even made shaitan go inside the snake because it was a fate. The whole story was a fate. Do you see it? All this story, it turned to be a fate. And when Adam, he commits sin, he start asking Allah for forgiveness. He start weeping. 
Hein? Hein? Allah said to Adam, didn't I permit, like, uh, uh, forbid you from eating from this tree? He said, yes, Lord, by your honor, I did not think that it has anyone by swear by, you know, by you liar. That's true. You know, the translation is very weird. You know, the shaitan, he swear by Allah, you know, he was a liar. They eat from the tree and they learned, I mean, translation is really horrible here. Uh, but look at this. Why you did that? Why you did that, Adam? What made you do that? He said, oh, Lord, it's Eve, Eve, you know, she was wearing short skirt. And man, her boobs is so big, I could not resist the banana there and the apple. She put the apple between her breast. And now I was confused because all of them, they look like an apple. So she said, by the one in the middle. What the heck? This is your religion. And look at Zechariah now is dead. Zechariah is not even here. He is not here. Uh, yeah. Any Zechariah? Well, Zechariah before is not the same as Zechariah after. Do you see why they don't dare to call me? Because we have all your laundry. And by the way, I'm going to go right now to my yard, see if I can find a snake, and I will ask her to go inside her so I can go to Walmart and do shopping for free. Everybody will run away from me. And actually, I will they find a hole in the wall and go and do shopping, and you know, like uh, the snake will do shoplifting. If they arrest the snake, they arrest the snake. You know, it's not me. I'm not in, I have nothing to do with her. The second the police, they come, I come out of the snake and say, see, it was the snake, not me. The snake. Capture the snake. Abdul, Chaitan, he get inside the snake. By the way, what he gave the snake in return? A rat? Hmm? What he seduced the snake with? Potatoes. All right. All Muslims, they can debate me but in comments and the second they made a comment they regret their comment and they delete it go to home depot and buy some rat poison my friend poison is forbidden in saudi arabia since the prophet was killed by a rat poison so you have to come with better plan you know uh, like what, what happened yesterday i want to mention it about Salman rushdi those cowards, they prove to us again and again that Islam is satanic. And they help us actually to prove our point. Islam is not a religion. Islam is not for a human. Islam is satanic. Cult should be banned. Islam is against a humanity. So I say to those stupid atheists who always defend Islam in CNN and whatever, BN, and you know, look at this Joe Biden. How come Joe Biden, when a Muslim, he was killed? Where it was? What's the state? I forgot. We made a video about it. He go and he, you know, like he, uh, he st we stand with the Muslim. And later we found that the one who killed the Muslims, it was a Muslim. Joe Biden, he never opened his mouth. This is a very famous author, and he is coming from England. He's not even American. It's a shame for America what happened. Joe Biden, the son of Mutai, the coward, and Nancy Pelosi, and all the donkeys in the White House and the Democrat Party, nobody opened his mouth. If anything happened, oh, we are against hate. We are against hate, you know, hate. The Christian teaching hate, they are against abortion. When the, when a terrorist attack happened in USA, in New York, in the heart of the democratic population, they go silence. Where is the one who go against hate crimes? Don't you agree that Islam is a hate crime itself? The Quran says it clearly that Allah, Allah, 
he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. Chapter 5, verse number 14. The Quran say clearly that the most enemies for Muslims are the Jews. Why you don't ban the Quran? The Quran say clearly that they should fight them and kill them. Why this book is not banned? Chapter 5, verse number 64 says the most enemies for Muslims are the Jews. Chapter 5, verse number 14 saying Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. Chapter 9, verse number 29, it says go and kill the Christians and the Jews. And we can quote tons and tons of verses. When you allow such a satanic book and you allow such a satanic religion to be practiced, when Allah, he says, he will spread hatred between the Jews. It's in the front of you. Chapter 5, verse number 64. How you accept such a book? Aren't you against bigotry? Stereotype? People keep complaining about my books. They cannot find them in Amazon. They have only three of my books. The rest disappear. Amazon siding with Muslims with no question. I just need some time to post my videos in other forms, platforms, my, my, my books, so they cannot stop it. Chapter 5, verse number 82, it says, The most enmity to you, Muslims, is the one who call themselves Jews. The book of hatred. Chapter 5, verse number 51, it says, Take not Christians and Jews as a friends. Islam teach hatred. It's not me who don't want to take a Muslim as a friend. It is Islam forbidding Muslims from taking us as a friends. So when you give a citizenship in USA to a Muslim, you are giving it to someone. He have no loyalty to your country. He's not even allowed. It is like a snake inside the house. The snake is a sneaky, she is soft. He will say to you, I'm your friend. Chapter three, verse number 28, it says, you can lie to them, speak as if it is you are a friend to them, but your heart is like this. If you don't believe me, here we go. Chapter three, verse number 28. We don't say things from our mouth. We don't make things up. This is the website owned by the King of Jordan, the one who USA sent billions of dollars from your money, American, every year. We pay for their army. We pay for their security. We pay for their police. We pay for their bread. This is your friend, the King of Jordan. This is Quran, chapter 3, verse number 28. And this is the cousin of Muhammad explanation. A believer, he cannot take the Jews or the Christians as a friend. And if one of them, he seek honor and he take them as a friend, and he means so, he has no honor, no mercy, no protection from Allah, which means Muslim can kill him, can rape his wife, can take his children as sex slaves. Unless yet, but guard yourself against them, save yourself from them, Speaking toward them or taking it as security, saving yourself from them by speaking in a friendly way toward them with while your heart is like this. Do you see the snake? People, do you see the snake? This is the snake. When they shake hands with you and they say we are friends, they are not. They are lying to you. A Muslim, he cannot take you as a friend. It's against Islam. If he do so, he is not a Muslim no more. So how they say to me, I'm your friend. How come I visit them? They are nice to me. Because they are trying to convert you. It's a trick. 
Otherwise, the Quran says it clearly, the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them. He is one of them. Do you see it? You are not one of us no more. You are one of them. And who is them? The enemy of Allah, the enemy of Islam. And this is what is really making me uh, uh, upset when I see the ignorance in the West. When you see a woman, she says, I must have a Muslim friend. She doesn't know that she is taking you as a friend just to try to convert you, to find you a boyfriend. And later he will say to you, I cannot marry you unless you convert to Islam. They call it jihad love. This is how they were able to marry the daughter of Bill Gates. Jihad love. This is how they were able to convert Muhammad Ali, the idiot. Sneaky. They cannot take you as a friend. And then they go to the African and they say to them, Islam is against slavery. And when we find that Muhammad is the biggest slave owner, buyer, and seller. Slavery, slavery was a flourishing in the time of Muslims and all the slaves in USA was captured by the white Muslims in North Africa. Go check the history. The white man, he go to Morocco to buy slaves. He go to Libya and then now in Libya, there's camps of slavery. They speak too much about good and ethic, but they have zero. All of this proved to us that Islam is nothing but a satanic cult, and they have no limit how low they can go. When a Christian prince, he speak to a Muslim woman, and the Muslim woman, she say to him, Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, and then he said to her, you are a filthy, in fact, it was your prophet who ordered Muslim women to give their boobs. Suckle me. The cowards, the son of Mut'a, they say, Christian prince, sexual predator, asking a Christian, asking a, a young young girl, young girl, this, she, is a, she is a whore, she is in the age of your mother, you, you coward. They made her a young, they made her like a child. Have you ever heard of a child, she say? Jesus was a plane. He did Jesus a lot, a lot of things. He was a plane with his mother boobs. You caught their filthy prophet. They accuse you. They try to frame you. You know, they try to color you. Bully, the bully Muhammad and the bully followers. I was caught in your filthy prophet, your son of Muta. It's online. This is not in a private. I was saying to the women, suckle me, you donkey. Sexual predator. I have thousands of people watching live. We have the video here. Suckle me. Why you get upset when I say it? Huh? If you call Jesus, you are trying to be a holy man. If you quote Muhammad, they accuse you to be a sexual predator. Even when they accuse you of wrong, the accusation is because you are quoting their faithy prophet. Can you believe it? And this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. She is practicing her boobs right. Anyone want to enter upon her room, he have to go by her sisters or her do or their daughters, and they have to suckle their boobs ten times. Hey, Muhammadan, when is my turn? Her voice is like a kid. Well, you are the kid, Rina. We have the video. Are you stupid? Do you want me to play the video? Do you want me to play the video? The video is there. How that is her voice is voice of a kid. You must be a mentor. You don't even know the voice of a kid from a voice of a woman. Stupid people.
I guess you are the one who have a boy, who have a have a have a brain of a kid. Uh, let us see if I still have the video on my computer. We can play it. But anyway, the video the video is there. People they can listen to it. I did format my computer, if you remember when we did not have any, uh, but as I know, I have the video here in the backup. I'm trying to find it. Let us see where it is. Well, if we could not find it here, we can search it online. <clears throat> Is that the link for the video, Riza? Is that the link? Or oh, this is a different one. Anyway, you can watch it. Actually, if you have the link, post it for me because I need to re-download the video again. So I can save it in my drive. So when a stupid one, he says something, we show them that they are really stupid, like this Rena. That is the link? Okay, go ahead. Give me a second. Um, it says something went wrong. So I think the link is not complete. Let me try to, co to copy it. I could not open it. Can you can you make it shareable? No, don't don't post the link as it is. Go to the video and that the video is say share that will make it short. And for some reason is not coming for me all size so I can copy it and when I click it doesn't work. Let me try the other one. It says the same. It says oops, something went wrong. Under the video, there's an option to click and share. Copy that, that will make it very short. Not the whole link. So anyway, when they cannot refute you, they try to frame you. It is the garbage. It is the bully religion. Okay, let's copy this link. All right, now it's working. If you want to eat healthy, uh, somebody, you feel your best. Somebody having advertising in it. I need to wait for the advertising. This is not the video I'm looking for. I'm talking about the women who call me. What's wrong with people? So you made me click all this time, and you know, this is about... Oh, yeah, it's okay, forget it. I was talking about the girl who called me and I said to her, suckle me. I'm not talking about those things. Wake up, people. Anyway. Uh, I used to have it actually in the top of my download, but since I, you know, like formatted my computer last time, 
and I cannot find it no more. And let me see in the video. Oh no, where is the video here? I need to reset up my uh, my computer. Even video now is not showing in my screen. Uh, videos. I guess I need to go to setting so I can show the videos. Preference. Okay, hard disk, external DVD. Connect to server. Application. Tags, sidebar, okay, let us show the movie and music and pictures, okay, maybe now we can't find it, hold on. I know, it's not there. Yeah, I formatted my computer and now it is really, like you see, I, uh, this is what I have in the movie section, I have nothing. You know, I have only the, the file I downloaded uh, for uh, the program, ECAM. Yeah, yeah, this is the one about the honey. All right. It's the same, it's the same, it's not working, I don't know why. Click at share and pause the link. Don't post just a link from browser. Find the link of share. <coughs> Enter, enter, we find the solution for this is hard mission. Uh, do we have any Muslim? Any Muslim? <coughs> Who is a brave Muslim? He have the courage. He can call me and don't suckle me. If you are a Muslim, we are quoting your prophet. <clears throat> we are not interested in your nipples. Any Mohammedan? <clears throat> it's the same, it's the same, nothing is working. Let me see if I can copy the link and repost. Okay, when we copy the link, looks like it's working. So this is the video of Tahani, and this is what Rina, she said, it's a voice of a kid. And here you will see that... Look at the black stone for me. Oh, you want to to bring this? Okay, why you why you kiss the cross? Show me where you... this is a voice of a of a kid. You stupid! Is that a voice of a kid? Show me where it says in the Bible, kiss the cross. No, no, no. Show me, you, show me. No, I, don't, no, I, don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, like... I don't kiss anything. Show me where. Why, you why you're a prophet? You why you're a prophet? The, the pagan prophet. You why your pagan a prophet kiss a stone? Your prophet no, is a pagan man. No, 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 why he kiss a stone? Why he kiss a stone? Oh, no, the Holy Spirit, the what? God in the heavens. I know, I know all this. Okay, I live in Arabia. I live in Africa. You know, you know where. So she is a kid who live in Arabia. He live in Africa, and now she is in America. But she is a kid, brother. She is Ibn Battuta, but she is a kid. She live everywhere, and this is obviously a kid. This is what you see in the stupid comment from st some stupid people. You know, you, you, know, you know what? You know what? Why you kiss, why your prophet kiss the black stone? He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did, did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, did you, did you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims kiss. You Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why? Why your prophet kiss the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus, do more actually. 
worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? boobs. You why? must be. Where is the idiot who said she have a voice of a kid? Is that how kids they talk? Boobs. Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. This is a kid. And what the coward they do, they cut the part of her saying, oh, Jesus, he did more, actually speaking like a whore. What Jesus did, he played with his mother boobs. And then the Muslim, they want to say, oh, our virgin sister, she called Christian prince, he said to her, suckle me. You see, the, 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 the virgin sister, and they made a video, Christian prince, the sexual predator. Brother, did you see what he said to her? Yeah. It is a stone, right? Why Why your prophet kissed a black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kissed stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more, actually. Worse, actually. Ah, he played with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He played with his mother what? You to boobs? The you must be, okay, you see, you see, guys, you see, guys? Somebody saying, a guy doing, he's saying, put this black male behind you. My friend, nobody can blackmail me. What are you talking about? I mean, people, they say even more stupid comment is more more stupid than the Muslim, they say. How you can blackmail me with this? You see, do you know what blackmail mean? Blackmail if you do something wrong. This is a live debate. She said, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. I said to her, your prophet is the one who ordered you to give your boobs. So how in the world anyone can blackmail me? Gay doon. You see guys, you see how you see how savage they are? Look what she said. Oh no. Look what she said. Not, Look what she said. Like you. Okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he play. Listen, listen, you are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say no, Jesus, he played with his mother no, boobs, right? Okay, you're, you, listen, you are a liar, number one. Number two, it's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Lying. Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I, Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? This is what the coward Mimi Hijab, he copied. Can I suckle you? And this is actually for our benefit. Why? Because that will prove that Muslims are not honest people. From their fruits, you shall know them. I never spoke about boobs. I never spoke about suckling. We were talking about kissing the black stone. And the video is there. What they do? They cut the video. Did you say that? Did he say that? Uh, yeah. What? I'm quoting your faithy prophet, son of Muta. So when somebody says blackmail, blackmail if you do something wrong, like you know, you're afraid of it. My friend Gaidun, just just get take a hike. Don't come here again. This is what they want. No, this is not what they want. This is what I want. Don't you see that you are being stupid here? This is what they want? What they want? We're exposing them. You are being stupid again. This is for our this is this is a this is a prize test actually because now every Muslim can see that Muslims are not a trustworthy, they are liars. In fact, their sister was a whore. They claim that they believe in Jesus and insulting Jesus as against Islam, yet their whore sister is the one who accused Jesus of doing what? Playing with his mother boobs, and she said it in a very sneaky, evil way. Yeah, in fact, Jesus, he did many things actually. Like what? Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus, he play. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus, he play with his mother boobs, right? Okay. You, you listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Then. Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle? Can I? Can I suckle you? Can I suckle you? 
Islam, can I suckle you? Listen, 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 listen. According to Islam, according to Islam, your boobs is lawful for me. Can I suckle you? Listen. As long as you are talking about boobs and no, you are a savage, low-class person, why you're a prophet? Let, let, let us read together. Let us read together. Sahla bin to Suhail. Sahla bin to Suhail. Let me let me let me mute. Let me let me mute you. You are you are so dumb. Listen, guys, look at this. Sahla bin to Suhail came to the messenger of Allah, and said, "I see a displeasure in the face of Abu Hudayfa. When Salim enters upon me, the messenger he said, breastfeed him." She said, how I can breastfeed him and he is a growing man. <laughs> so why you don't want me to talk about it, gay dune? You see, when you don't want to talk about it, that means you did something shameful. Did we do anything wrong, gay dune? What's wrong with you? This is always for your benefit if you have a brain. They insult Jesus, so they lie when they say they believe in Jesus. She accused Jesus of molesting his mother. That means she is a whore, this woman, because this is not even a talk of a normal woman. In the top of that, the Muslim, they use her voice and conversation with me to prove I'm bad. So why the stupid you, you think they are black in me? In me? <laughs> How you can do that? And actually, we encourage every one of you to download the video and share it. This is why me, myself, I'm the one who asks people to download the videos. All my videos. <laughs> you see those stupid, they went to my channel because I don't keep my videos on my channel, right? You know, I, de I delete my videos from time to time, like every week, you know, whatever I have videos, I leave only the last few, few ones. Or if someone... If a video, YouTube cannot have an excuse to delete it. I keep it. Uh, so they went to my page. They said, oh, the video is not there. So now he cannot. You know, he have no, no recording. Bingo. Let us cut this part and play it. <laughs> Fear nobody, my friend. When you are right, you are right. And even all, if all the words go against you and say you are wrong. The second you are worried about what people say, if I'm really worried about what people say, I will never even come here and say one word. Not even one. Uh, all right, do we have any question? Do we have any Muslim? Is it okay to say suckle me Muslims? Oh, it's haram. I mean, this God, he even sent a chapter in the Quran about breastfeeding for adult. And who ate it? A goat. It's in the front of you. Muslims, when they try to frame you, you know, they first they 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 you know they see how much you can handle, you know, with the bully. Some some people they are weak. Some people they get stress. Uh, even some people they can even commit suicide if people start bullying them, right? But that will not go for someone like me. You see, when you do what you do, what I do. You have to have a very strong personality, strong character, strong mind. Otherwise, you cannot survive such a war. This is a war with the devil. And the devil will try to use everything in his tail to fight you. And the second you start feeling the pressure because of a bully, and you really get stressed, that's mean you don't fit for the job. Like you see, uh, I don't like to talk about people, but like as an example, uh, uh, apostate prophet, he, you know, he make videos against Islam, but I, I can tell he don't take stress too much good. He's easy to stress out. 
And this is what they try to do with him. They try to bully him, stress him, because they felt there is a weakness in that point. But doesn't mean he's a bad person. You know, this is this is you. I mean, there's people they can be stressed easy. There's people they you know bully can work with them very very hard. Uh, I don't understand the part of mahram. Mahram, mahram is somebody supposedly from your family is lawful for you to be with like a husband if you are a female or uh, a husband or a brother or a father someone the husband he can sleep with you right but because he is lawful so it's okay to be with him uh, or a father who cannot sleep with you so it's okay to be with him alone or a brother so you have always to have a guardian the word muhram actually you know the word haram so he is the one who prevents wrong things from happening to you because Islam look at the women as a sexual object. So if a woman, she walk along the street, she is exposed to haram. She is a vagina. She is just a walking vagina. Uh, the hadith about Hercules is very simple. Muhammad, he sent a letter to, to the Roman and he said to them, convert to Islam, you will be safe. Otherwise, I will kill you. Very simple. Aslim Taslim. There's no need to explain. I mean, even that one need explanation. Aslim Taslim. You want to be safe from being killed by the terrorist? Aslim Taslim. It's all over the, the teaching of Islam. All right, and this is what Muhammad he sent to everybody around him, and this is the story you are talking about. He sent to the ruler of the Byzantine, saying to him, "Aslim, you will become safe. It's in front of you. You become safe what from my sword." So he sent him a threat: convert or die. And if you convert, we will give you a reward. He was trying to tempt him with money. Isn't Muhammad, he says, I've been commanded to kill all mankind until they convert to Islam? It's in front of you. He have a command to kill every living human being until they convert to Islam, until they pray. Not only you convert, you have to pray, you have to eat as they eat, you have to pay him money too. And then and only then, your blood and your property is safe. Always when you try to understand something about this garbage cult, you need to connect the dots. Religion or a belief, any belief, doesn't matter if it's good or bad. It's not just one line. But sometimes there's one line can explain all the other lines. So when Muhammad, he said, I've been commanded to kill all mankind. You see the Muslim, he says to fight. In Arabic is uqatil. Uqatil means fight to kill, not fight like by shoes or fight by debate or fighting by words. So I've been commanded to fight to kill. Mimi Hijab, he says, Yes, the Prophet been ordered to command to fight and kill all the people, and but but that not including the Muslim because already they are Muslims. The video is there. Uh, and this is the fastest way to make people you know follow you. Tafsir al Qurtubi that they teach women. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. But if you have the reference, why you want me to ask me to, to give you the reference? I mean, already you posted the reference. <laughs> uh, 
and this is, exists in many uh, books actually, not only one book. Uh, Let us see if we can find it in the, this English website first. We cannot find it here. All right. This is, exists in the books of Sunni and Shia. I'm trying to open a Muslim website, it's taking forever to open. Uh, let's For some reason, what come in front of me is just uh, Shia books. Okay, let's see. Here we go. And this is a Shia too. I mean, why we aren't getting lucky with the Shia now? Oh, no. We are just uh, trying to find the Sunni website. Maybe I have no choice but to show what we see have for now. Uh, let us see. Let us go to this website. Well, I found it just in in uh, in, uh, in Arabic. I cannot find it in English. This is Sunni now. Uh, this is the book of Al Azim Abadi, and this is the number of the Hadith. And this is here uh, Ibn Habban, and this is the number of the Hadith. And this is here At Tabarani, uh, page number three sixty. Uh, and this is Al Qisarani, and this is Ibn Jawzi. And this is etc. But the Muslim they will say to you it is daif, you know, just to tell you the excuse right away. The hadith says that uh, the women uh, don't. Uh, Aisha she said, don't let women stay in houses because they are Bedouin, and don't uh, teach them how to write, how to read. Just teach them how to swine, uh, you know, for clothing, and teach them the chapter of An Nur. In the Quran, and that's it. This is all what they need. Here, actually, here, this is a Sahih, which is usually, I mean, weird to say to the, you know, like uh, when the Muslim they say da'if, you know, you will see the Muslim say it is Sahih. Let me see if I can find. Uh, it's not opening. I click on it. It's not opening. Okay, let's try this. Uh, 
uh, if we try here to click it's not opening okay that will take us maybe to the book yeah this is not what we want yeah this is take us to the whole book no we don't want that this is actually a very good website but we can use Google translation here let's use Google So Aisha, she said, let us zoom in, in the book of Mustadrak on the two Sahih. So this is a Sahih Hadith. Uh, do not place them in the rooms and do not teach them how to write, how to read. Uh, to write, meaning the women, and teach them uh, how to make a clothing and the chapter of An-Nur. This is what it says. Let me post the link for you, and I will make it short. Let us shorten the link so you can find it. Link shorten. And this is the link. And sorry, I wasn't looking at the screen. If you said something to me, I was just trying to copy and share. Anything else? Bad Melisa, she is posting. If you are wondering how to support Christian Prince. Well, you ask them to support, not to support, they will not support anyway. Most of people, they come here just to laugh and, you know, they don't care really. And because we make everything available for everybody, you know, people, they are, you know, they don't care. We give our books for free, our time for free, we stay here for many hours. And even we ask them to join Patreon, feel free, don't donate, still they don't do it. So don't waste your time, you are talking to the deaf. Uh, how Islam bring progress to its women and men? Well, you know, if you want to know if Islam is successful, go and see how Muslim they live. And then you will see if Islam is a successful society. You know, when Muhammad, he says, the man, he can lie to his wife, and the wife, she can lie to her husband. So what is the point of wife and husband? If the man, he can lie to his wife, the wife, she can lie to her husband. What is the point of a marriage? What marriage mean for Muslims? To lie to each other? If I cannot even trust my wife and you cannot trust your husband, what is the point of this religion? And how that will fix society? How a man, his name is Muhammad, he is a prophet of Allah, Saying that man, I, I don't consider man lying to his wife is a lie. How that will help any family or society? I understand when he said like you can lie in the wartime, no problem. But lying to your wife and wife lying to her husband and lying to your friends? When Muhammad he says lie in war, for war is as a is a is a deception. So when you lie to your wife, is that because you want to deceive her? When the wife she lied to her husband, is that to deceive her? Or to deceive him? And here you see that, you know, Christianity and Islam, they don't match in anything. Even the Muslim, they use some names, which is, we are familiar with, like Moses, and uh, even Jesus' name is wrong, Mary, Abraham, but 
it doesn't match in anything. If any Muslim wanna like prove us wrong, by the way, feel free. You see how many hours I'm here? The same as yesterday. Still no Muslim there ready to refute us. If you see this hadith as an example here, let me show you this one. A Muslim man should not accept, lie except in three cases. A man lying to his friends, a man lying to, in war, a man speaking to his wife, and a wife speaking to her husband. Uh, Alexander, thank you for uh, suggesting about affiliate link. I don't want to, I don't do here commercial business. You see, most of my books, I give them for free. And we expect that people willingly, they are, they think they have a brain. You know, if somebody want to help, you do not need to ask if you should help or not. So if people like to help, they will help. I know that some people, they say we will post videos only for those who subscribe in Patreon. I don't do that. All my videos is open for everybody. The one who donate and the one who don't donate. Why? Because what if somebody is poor and he can't afford it? And this is the majority. As it, that will make it a business. You know, if you do that, that make what you do a business, not a mission. I do everything for free. And those who care to support, they can support if they are, you know, if they want. We are not going to keep asking people to support us because they knew. Which one is more noble, Kaaba or Muhammad Tomp? Uh, the bent you are talking to who? You know, no Muslim they claim. And the funny is, Muhammad, he said that Allah, he curse the Christians because he they made the, 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 the tombs of their ancestors or prophets a place of worship. But that's what the Muslim did. This is what the Muslim now they have. They have a big mosque in the top of the tomb of their prophet. <laughs> we teach the poor, doesn't matter. Poor Muslim, poor Christians. You know, for me, my priority first is the Christians, for sure. But uh, Muslims and non-Muslims are, you know, they are our target in our mission because we want to save everybody. Did you ask yourself why I give my books for free? If you think I'm a billionaire, I'm not. Salman Rushdie is a sir. Salman Rushdie, he have a salary from the queen. He have a salary. He is a sir, you know. I have nothing. I don't even have a health insurance. Health insurance, I don't have. I don't have anything. So, yet I give my books for free because what I care for is what is more important, making money or giving my book to 200 million Indonesian, the biggest Islamic country in the world. Giving my book in Chinese, 1 billion something Chinese in the world, around the world they speak Chinese in for, for free. Uh, my book in Russian, my book in, uh, uh, you know, Croatian, Albanian, you name it. So, if you care for money, then you will not give a single copy for free. Right? Everybody need money. It's not a secret. But this is not why we are here. I can say, well, okay, yesterday I was here for how many hours yesterday, guys? How many hours yesterday I was live? Five hours at night, or after or the time we started, noon time, I think. And five hours, just then eight hours before, right? Then today, what, how many hours now? So, you know, you see always, I go live on air. I go off air. I did not even mention the word donation. Go check all my videos. I go live. 
I go off. I don't even speak about it. And you know, people who, uh, you know, without saying names, they make a video for 15 minutes and they ask people to make donation. 15 minutes. I stay hours after hours after hours and I don't really care if people, they will make donation or not. I will keep doing this and nothing will change. But if you go to Patreon, you will see that most of people, they register there, they would like a $1 because it's a must from Patreon, but they will not collect it because it's not worth it. Uh, I understand people, they are trying just to get notification and I invite them to do that. But the majority, like you see 1,000 there, 1,000 subscriber, um, they are not donators. Those are just, uh, you know, they want to get updated notification. <coughs> But anyway, you know, the Lord is our provider. And this is why, you know, you when you start worrying about things, worry will eat you, you know. You will become a victim of your own worry. Always the Lord, He provides. Uh, any question? You're welcome, my friend. Thank you for the love. I appreciate it. Uh, you know, we take death a threat. Uh, Muslims, they bully me. They made hundreds of videos against me. But those things, they don't make me weaker. They make me stronger. That is showing you. Actually, they are the one who help me to bring more people out of Islam. Muslims, they don't know who you are. So they hear about you from Muslim page. A Muslim is angry. Christian Prince is a liar. He is quoting CP. It doesn't say that CP. This hadith is weak. Uh, here we go. And now every Muslim who heard this video, he will wonder, okay, well, what, why those Muslim, they claim they can refute this guy. Why they don't allow them, him to call them? Neither dare to call him. All the Muhammadan, they are willing to debate me only face to face, which they knew I don't do that for many reasons. You know, I'm not seeking uh, to be famous, uh, you know, uh, cameras and videos. I don't care if I'm a person who cares for that. I will open my camera and, you know, I will say, hey, sh see me. Uh, we are here to debate, not to do fashion show. Additional to that, we know that Islamic words is a very, very terrorism mindset. And if they can silence you, they would love to do so, you know. But this is not really my reason. I fear no, I fear nobody. Uh, I'm a believer and I believe, you know, if, if ever something happened to me, uh, I would be honored to be uh, die as a martyr to the Lord. I mean, I'm not better than the disciple or even my Lord. So, uh, but... If I can do what I can do without, like now, I'm sitting wearing my short, having my coffee. If I have a camera, I have to change everything around me. People, they will say, look what he's wearing. You know, look at his beard. Uh, look how ugly he is, you know. <laughs> I'm here to exactly to expose their lies. I'm not here to do a movie. What is the use of a Muslim going to Hajj? It's just a way to make money. You see, uh, uh, when Muhammad, he ordered the disbelievers, not, they cannot enter Mecca. Then the Muslim, they felt the, the effect of that. Imagine you say only, only Muslim can to go to Las Vegas. And the Muslim at that time, they were little number. So who is going to play in the casino? The few will not support the business. So the Hajj was always a place of making money. So there was 16 Kaaba in the Arabian Peninsula. And the Kaaba in Quraysh was one, in Mecca was one of them. Kaaba simply is a practice the Arab used to have, and not only Arab, even other, other uh, nations, 
to attract businesses, travelers. So you come to the Hajj. Hajj is not something new. It's not Islam who made Hajj. Hajj exists before Muhammad. Muhammad, he just carry on with the same pagan practice. So they used to do Hajj before Islam. They used to go around the Kaaba. They used to touch the black stone. They used to, you know, worship stones. And they used even to go naked around the Kaaba, totally naked. Uh, but this is not only the people of Quraysh or Mecca. It was many places in the Arabian Peninsula. And Mecca is a counterfeit of the temple of al Makkah in Yemen. If you search for temple of al Makkah, you know, the funny is that the, the temple of al Makkah, <coughs> uh, I remember a long, long time ago, I said the temple of the al Makkah is. Uh, is a temple for the moon god. Uh, somebody sent me a, a long article made by a scientist saying it is the temple of uh, the sun. You know? And he sent me another uh, article. It is the temple of the sun. And I insist that this is the temple of al Makkah. It is the temple of the moon for a very simple reason. The Sabian, they are the one who built that temple, and that temple belonged to them. And this is the moon god religion. And lately they discover that yes, the temple of Al Makkah is the temple of the moon god. They thought for a long time it is the temple of uh, uh, the sun, you know. But it's not. Uh, the Sabian, the Sabian, which Muhammad he 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 promised the Sabian to be uh, to be in heaven. You know, uh, the Sabian is the one who is behind the Temple of Al Makkah. Actually, even the Sabian, you know, Sabian, their religion was the biggest ever in the Middle East before uh, Christianity. To the point, even the Pharaoh and the Egyptian, the the Sabian at least, they believe that the Pharaoh he was a Sabian, he was one of them. This is why, if you go to the books of the uh, uh, the Sabian, you will see that they insult the God of the Jews, Adonai. The reason they insult Adonai, uh, because he is the one who killed their great man, the Pharaoh. So they believe in the story which has happened to Moses or they've been witnessing that story in the time of Moses. But because the God of Moses is the one who killed the Pharaoh who is one of them, then he is the enemy. Uh, you can go and search for the God of the Mecca. This is actually Mecca, I think it's coming as a copy from uh, the, the original name. Uh, Mecca is a counterfeit of this temple. This is a huge temple. This is not just like a Kaaba, a little tiny room, you know. This is a very big, uh, you know, building. No, no, not much left of it. But it used to be something really huge and really big. So the temple of Al-Makkah uh, in the ancient uh, uh, ruin of Yemen, if you go, actually, let me show you. If we go right now to the Kaaba, in the Kaaba, there is the black stone, as we showed you before, and there is a Yemeni corner. Yemeni corner. This Yemeni corner has stones from that temple. From that temple. So what, what the Arab are trying to do, let me make it more clear. If you look with me, you will notice that those rocks, they don't match. I mean, there's different rocks from different places. They are not coming from one place. And they look different from the rest of the stones. And the Muslim, they open the skirt of the Kaaba. The skirt, by the way, is a pagan practice for the Kaaba is a, have a vagina, the black stone. So they put a skirt on her, you know, 
to cover her. So uh, uh, the Yemeni corner, the Muslim, they have to touch it in order and to touch the black stone in order to get their sin erased. Now, if you ask your a Muslim why it's called the Yemeni corner, they say because it's facing Yemen. This not this is a false reason, because those stones are taken from the Yemen temple. So it's like you know uh, some Christian they bring uh, the bones of a saint from a place to a different place, a church, and supposedly that will make this church uh, more uh, you know have a more value, which is not really right. Uh, so they brought those stones from the Mecca, from the from the original Kaaba, which is the temple of the Sabian in, in Yemen, and they place it in their Kaaba. So now why you want to go all the way to touch the stones? Here we go, we brought you stones. The stones are here. So instead of flying, I mean, at that time they have to take a camel, you know. You take a camel all the way to Yemen, will take you maybe a month to go there. And now we have it here in town. So you want to touch the stone? You want to get the blessing? The stone is here. And this is why Muhammad, he said, that the one who touched the Yemeni corner and the black stone, if you touch, if you do that, it erases your sin. Uh, let us find the hadith. Here we go. The companions of, of the Prophet of Islam, the false prophet, one of them, he asked the other one, he says, Oh Abu Abdul Rahman, why I do only see you touching uh, uh, those two corners? What corners are we talking about? The Yemeni corner, the one we told you have the stones from Al Makkah temple, and the black stone corner. He said, I heard the message of Allah saying, touching them erase sins. And I had seen, I had him say, whoever go around them seven times, it is like freeing a slave. So Muhammad, the Arab, they used to free slaves when they commit sin. Muhammad, he didn't want them to free slaves. He wanted them to buy more slaves. So they don't free slaves, just go around the Kaaba seven times. And that's it. A Muslim, his name is Abdullah Marzuq, saying, "A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim." And here you see another funny things from Muslims. They seek refuge from Shaitan to Allah, but don't you know that Allah is Shaitan? Because what is the difference between Allah and Shaitan? Nothing. Here we go. He just made you. He he made you. He converted you to a religion. Make you believe that the stones are a sin. Touching the stones erase your sin. It's not me who said that. It's your prophet. If you want to say to me this is daif, this is not daif. Play a different game. And by the way, even daif is accepted. Do you see it? A Muslim, he think he believe in God, yet he believe in stones, and he believes stones erase sin, and touching them will erase your sin. You tell me how that work. In the same time, the same Muslim, the same smart Muslim, believe that Allah made him sin. Right. I mean, even the word sin in Islam does not make sense because Allah is the one who makes people sin. The Muslim believe in destiny. Everything you do, anything you do, even fornication, it is not your decision. It was made by Allah before he created you. So what is sin? Any Muhammadan? What is sin in Islam when you are just a victim of destiny? The second you believe that everything is a destiny, that means the idea of sin is a stupid idea.
because they don't work together. You see, like in Christianity, we have a, a belief in destiny, but the destiny we believe in, that God, he made, uh, like I say, he gave us a limit. That is a destiny. As an example, you don't live forever, you will die. That is a destiny, everybody will die. But God did not cause you to commit sin so you will die. No. God said to Adam, don't eat from this tree. If you eat from it, you will die. See the difference? In Islam, we just showed you today, this is our topic today actually, that Adam himself, he committed sin because Allah, he made him commit sin. Adam and Moses, they have an argument and Adam won the argument by saying, are you blaming me for an act which written in my fate as a decree, which I should do 40 years before my creation? So here we see that the idea of sin in Islam is a stupid idea and Muslims they should quit using the word sin because it is not you who did sin, it was Allah. Any Muslim have um, something op opposing this? Any Muhammadan, he is not agreeing, he want to prove me wrong? Why Muslim they use the word sin? I don't know. I mean, how, how, how even you commit sin if everything is decision made by Allah before he created you? When a Muslim he, he commit adultery, did he really commit adultery? The Quran say no. Muhammad he say no. Do you see it? Verily Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in which he of necessity must commit. Ah, من شخ يشخ شخخاخنا قرآنا. So when you commit adultery, you don't make a decision to commit adultery. Allah He made that for you, and you have to do it. Any Abdul? Any smart Abdul? Who is a Muslim Abdul would like to call me? Huh? Who is Abdul would like to call me and Allah will reward him? Let me open my Skype. Maybe we can get lucky. You never know. Things can happen sometime. Okay, we are logging into Skype. We have a guy, his name is Bashir Hamza. Uh, he's just uh, not, uh, maybe I don't know who's he. Uh, let us see this uh, Muslim here. I don't know who's he. Somebody give Marzug my Skype so he can call me. We are calling this Muslim. I don't know, he's not answering. Okay, maybe he is not online. Hey, Marzouk, call me.
By the way, if you are from Indonesia, Pakistan, anything, and you have a sheikh, he claimed that he can debate us or answer us, we welcome them to join us. And even if they don't speak English, we can debate in Arabic. Because remember, sheikh, he speak Arabic. Now, I'm assuming that the sheikhs are not like Uthman, the false sheikh who do not know how to read Arabic, how to speak Arabic. We are assuming that he is a real sheikh. Right? So, any Muslim, my Skype is open. Until now, I don't see. I mean, my, my Skype is dead. Uh, yeah, he's saying he is at work now. He cannot talk. Okay, no problem. Do we have any Muslim would like to join us and tell us something good about his prophet? May they, may they, may they. Anyone? Marzouk, Shakhbarak, Shrayakewal, Mantallaka Imraatahu, Talatu Marat, Lanta Udalahu, Hatta Tanka, Hazau Zanzadidan, Yahaza, Shakhbarak, Anta Tuhawal, Anta Tassalmi, Kaifa Tassalbi Yahada. هل 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 دققت على الرقم المطلوب؟ مرزوق is trying to call me but we heard nothing مرزوق اتصل يا مرزوق قال له يا مرزوق لو لبسوك المضرطه من وين اتش قال له هي من الخناقه سو مرزوق كم كم بدي اني ون هاف ا كويشن اني مسلم We can take calls from Christians if somebody have a question. Yeah, obviously Marzouk doesn't speak Arabic. He is using Google translation. Well, thanks to Google, he is better than the Prophet of Allah. He speaks all languages. Muhammad, even his own language, he cannot even write his name, according to Muslims. This is one of the funny things about Islam, that there is a guy, according to Muslim, he don't know Arabic, he cannot write his name, and he become a teacher in the university, and he is the dean of the university. So imagine the Muslim, the open university today, who is the dean of the university? Prophet Muhammad. What is his qualification? He do not know how to read, how to write. And that explain all the stupidity we see in the Quran. You know, literally. Yeah, somebody is a Christian. Let us see. <clears throat> yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. I'm fine. I phoned that that guy Hamza then, but he keeps uh, hanging up on me. He asked me, uh, you know that guy Hamza, right? That that, that idiot. Yeah, I don't know. There's many hymns anyway. Uh, sorry, okay. Anyways, I phone him, and they always, uh, he likes to talk to like ignorant Christians, right? So I'm like, I'll, I'll give this guy. I'm like, if I listen to Sam Shemun and Christian Prince, I'm like, I have to be worth something. So I call these guys, and he's and he tries to trap me. He's like, what? He's like, you believe in the, the Trinity? What? He's trying to get me to talk about the Trinity. And I'm hmm. like, yeah, I believe in the Trinity. I believe in Allah, Messiah, and uh, Mary. Did I get it right or wrong? 
So he's trying to convince me that uh, the Quran doesn't teach that Allah, Messiah, and and Mary are are three in one. Is that what's the tafsir on that? What like what what is the actual teaching? No, actually, the Quran says that clearly. What tafsir? I mean, even the Quran says that uh, 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 the Quran says that Allah He said to the Messiah, "Did you tell your people to worship me and my mother?" Correct. That that's the one I pulled up. Okay, that's so there's no need to tell us here. You know why Allah is asking Jesus, "Did you tell your people to worship me and my mother?" And then if he denied that the Quran is saying so, read the verse and then give us what is the Trinity in Islam. Then. Yeah, he, this guy, what he, I found him twice. He keeps hanging up on me. What he likes to do is he likes to talk to to Christians that that don't that do, that don't quote any any hadith that don't quote any Quran. So, so yeah, I I kept trying to nowadays when they ask me what the Trinity is, I always I always go back to go back to the Quran. But I just I wanted to make sure that because I know there's another verse that says say not three, but I wanted to because I I don't want to lie about Islam, right? I just wanted to make sure that if if in Muhammad's head that he thought they believed they were they were all all those three were together. You know, like like Allah, Messiah, and uh, and Mary. Well, the be... Quran is not a book make anything clear by itself. Like as an example, if you ask a Muslim, if he's asking you for something clear, tell him if there's anything clear in the Quran. As an example, where is in the Quran it says that uh, Gabriel is uh, the Holy Spirit? Nowhere, mm -hmm. you know. Ask him yeah. where in the Quran it says who is uh, Israel? Who is Israel? Nowhere in the Quran it says. So how we will know? But if you go in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 116, it's so clear verse, it says, that Allah, he said to to, to uh, uh, Isa, did you say, take me and my mother as deities beside Allah? That's, his, I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. This is what Allah, he think the Christian believe. <laughs> yeah. You know what his response was? He says, uh, I, because he uh, because he controls the conversation, he he said one side is is for the Protestants and the other side Mary is for the Catholics. But I totally forgot to tell him. I'm like, there's no Protestants back in Muhammad's time. What are you talking about? He's he's a, he said, "Here's his chip. It's same time. The Catholic don't believe that Mary she is part of the Trinity. The Catholic is the same as the Protestant. Believe in Father, Son, Holy Spirit. So he is being stupid again. I know, and, right? Yeah, and if Allah he is refuting someone is not exist, that means Allah is more stupid because nobody believe." in such a belief same time what is the trinity you should ask him where is the trinity in the quran what is the trinity in the quran show us the verses here we go this verse says did you worship me and my mother so now we learn that the quran is trying to refute the christians at that time saying that jesus is not god mary is not god and the verse actually is shown as a trinity look with me did you see the screen Oh yeah, I see. It. Yeah, exactly. okay. Yeah. Does it say beside Allah? Let's see. Oh, you say, you say to the people, take me and my mother as DCs besides. Oh, be. I I read it like uh like not including like besides Allah means together, right? Beside Allah, no, it's mean additional to Allah. Additional. Yeah, like but, you know, like beside, you know, put them to beside, beside each other. Okay, you know? like together. Like yeah, they're, yeah, they're together, broken. together. You are. Right. Okay. So oh, okay, sorry, what is yeah. the what is the first deity in this verse? Jesus. And his mother, right. take me. This is the word me. Take me. This is goes for Jesus, correct? Yeah. So this is number one in the Trinity according to the Quran. Let me switch to Arabic to English. So this is number one. Me is Jesus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah Who is number two? My mother. Yeah. It's clear. Yeah. yeah. And now I, beside I, who? Beside Allah. This is number three. So that. The, the, the Arabi, sorry, the, the the Arabic. Besides, what is it? What, does it mean together, like in in, in Arabic? The besides, in Arabic, it says say the same. Instead, you know, in Arabic, it says instead of Allah. You know, min uh, dunillah, right? But this is what it's meant. Jesus, Mary, and Allah is what the Christian believe. But we Christian, we don't believe in Allah anyway. Same time, Muhammad, because he's a fool. In different verse in the Quran, he said. Uh, the Christian they, they say that the Messiah is Allah. Yeah. Now, if we say that the Messiah is Allah, so who is the first one? Who is the second one? Who is the who is the third one? 
<laughs> what I, what I asked him, I'm like, since it says deity, deity means full out God, right? I'm mm. like, I'm like, do, I'm like, do the okay, the Catholic. He's trying to blame it on the Catholics. I'm like, do the Catholics believe she's the first, second, or third person as a deity? And he just kept changing the subject. So I, I, I felt, you know, yeah, I, this I, is I, this guy is just a kid. You know, those are kids. They can do whatever. This is why nobody count them anyway. I mean, who is who is even the, listen to him? How many people go in his stream? He has. Uh... He has sixty thousand subscribers. Uh, I don't know how many. Yeah, but how many go in the life? Maybe fifty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's not as popular as you. You, you. Like sometimes you have. Uh, I think one time I seen you like three thousand. Like once. Hmm. Like you have. You have quite a bit. Yeah. So here it uh, says that the Christian they say, Allah is the Messiah. So uh, if the Christian believe that Allah is the Messiah, that's mean. Allah. Yeah. We have I to see. eliminate one person, right? Because yeah, now right. Allah Himself is the Messiah. So the Messiah and Allah is one. Okay, who is the second person now? Who is the third person? <laughs> uh, you know, I should uh you know, like we have a job to do, we have to study and read. You're yeah. right. I, I, yeah, add, we have a... add to that, no Christian believe let's say that Muhammad here he meant that the Messiah they say uh, uh, the Christian they say the Messiah is God the Father. But we Christian we don't believe in that. Exactly. We don't believe. Uh, we believe that the Messiah is a person. God the Father is a person. The Holy Spirit is a person. One God. So when, when Muhammad, he said that, actually, he just defeated his own claim that the Christian believe in three. Because if they believe that the Messiah is Allah, that means they believe in just one person. You're right. Yeah, you're right. So Muhammad, again, is being a fool. Number three. If... If the Muslim, why they believe that Allah is not a three? Because the Quran says so. If Quran says he is a three, they will believe. We know the story, correct? Uh -huh, yeah, exactly. When, when, when Allah, he say he have a shin, why the Muslim don't ask themselves, okay, Allah is one God. Is he a one shin? Is he a shin God? Nobody question. Allah have two hands. The Quran says so. Okay, Allah is one God with two hands. Why he have two hands if he is one God? Do they do they what? say it's a metaphor? They, no, it's not a metaphor. And the Quran says clearly he made Adam by his two hands. You know, uh, okay. he created Adam by his two hands. And even Muhammad he claimed that the the the, the hands of Allah, both of them, they are right hands. So the, the Muslim they question the Trinity because they try to avoid you asking questions, which is embarrassment. So can you debate us about the Trinity? There's no need to debate about Trinity because very simple. God is almighty and it's not you who tell God what he can be and what he cannot. When the God of exactly. the Muslim, he said to them, I am one, they don't question what one mean because one is wrong. You see, one, the word, uh, the Muslim, they show, they show you the verse in the Quran says, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Ahad does not mean one. It means one off. Uh -huh. So he is, using, he is using the wrong word. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Then Allahu Samad, as Samad means the collector. This is why in the Aramaic language, even the Arabic, if you go to Iraq and those territories, they say Masmuda. Masmuda is simply a little tiny container, have a hole in it where you can put coins. So collector, you know. So God, Allah, is a collector of gods. He is collection of gods. And when the Muslim, even when they speak about their God, what they say? In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the right? Three names. Okay, Allah yeah. is one God. Why he have all those names? They will say to you, those are attribute. Okay, is each one of those attribute by itself is God? Uh, that will make them even go deeper and they swim in the mud. Add to all of this, if Allah is God, why in the Quran he said, and he is one, if we would like to take a partner, we will take the partner from ourself and the partner here is a female wife so how he is one yet he will take the partner from us do they the tafsir on this one is it are they unsure for that one the verse clear chapter 21 verse number 17 and even tafsir says allah is saying if you want to take a partner he means taking the virgin hori or the angels but that means that Allah is one of them. Because you see, when you say us, right, us. Uh -huh. it means put, they join them together. Yeah. Us mean us. You know, you don't say us, you mean cars, right? 
if I ask you who is with you, who is who was there, you say us. You mean maybe us. your family, you know, cousins, right? So yeah. when you say us, you are talking about a group from your kind. You don't mean cat and donkeys, right? So, for sure, yeah. so <laughs> us, obviously, whoever that us is not one. And here this God is speaking about taking a partner. Correct? A wife, specifically. So he can have a son. So if we want to take a partner, we will take from us. If you go to the interpretation, it says, Allah, he meant the black-eyed whores or the angels. But that means Allah is either a human like the black-eyed whore or the black-eyed whore are not a human. They are, God is like Allah. You know? Yeah. yeah. And the angels. And if the angels are us, that means Allah is one of the angels. Exactly. So, so yeah. when the Muslim they try to fix this problem, they you know they get dig more and they make it the hole bigger. Mm -hmm. you know? I just have a no, that was good. Thank you. I I just have you uh, a couple of weeks ago you you mentioned something and it it made me think. It made me think. Is, is this about, guy is this guy Hamza is online now? He goes online at night and I I do. I can okay, share. I want you to do me a favor. Next time yeah. he go online, if I am live on air. Call me and call him. Okay. It's just uh, what they're going to do for you, though. He'll he'll talk a little bit like uh, he'll run his mouth and he'll, then he'll hang up. My and friend, edit, don't edit worry videos. about it. He can run his mouth and we will die laughing. <laughs> okay, no problem. He, he goes on at night. But I, don't I like tell him, him. Don't tell him that a Christian prince when I talk to you. Otherwise, he will never take the call. So you okay. call him. He will see that you are the one who is speaking, you know. And okay. then you add me, you send me invitation to join the call. You know, I'm going to do that. And but he, after you call, don't don't ask me to join before because he will see it. After, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'll, I'll call him and I'll just... And I'll just, then uh, let him I'll mute me. Him. If he mute me, he don't want to hear me. People will laugh. That means he's, you know, he's, he's, he's running away. But I'll, I'll tell you right now because I phoned him <laughs> twice. Because he he's I I can tell right away he's scared of the Quran he's scared of the Hadith so he he ninety nine percent of the conversation he goes to you know which verse he goes to he goes to uh, the, the one in John where he says you are the Father is the only the Father is the only true God he that's the only verse he knows he doesn't know anything else so this well he guy, just I say think, the Father <laughs> exactly yeah exactly but I, I read a lot of uh, commentaries on that if you let me speak I you know what I did I told him to pull it up I'm like pull it up I'm gonna make a clown out of you and then he hungs up on me he's like I'm not pulling it up for you I gave him an opportunity to embarrass me I'm like I'm like embarrass me put it up on the screen he says I'm not pulling it up on the screen and then he kicks me out so I'll, I'll, if, if he's online we'll see what we well, we'll next see what time we you, you next time you call him and then after you call you tell him I just invited the Christian Prince to join the conversation. If you mute 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 us yeah. or hang up on us, that's mean you are a coward. Hundred percent. And you are running away. Otherwise, let us have a debate. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. And let people let people laugh. Either laugh at him or laugh at me. Because Christian Prince, the the, the Christians he he lets speak for hours and hours. Honestly, honestly, I'm not joking. I don't think they read one page of the Bible, like not one page. Yeah, that's why they would talk to them if they knew that you see the Muslims. It's the same as somebody, uh, you know, he's doing a scam. You go to an old person, he do not know what what are you speaking. Maybe they even, uh, he, you know, like uh, in the other day, uh, a, a person he come knock at my door. He says, "I want to install a, a solar system for you." If you sign a contract, you pay nothing. You know, he made, he made he made it like a honeymoon. You know, so you you pay nothing for uh, you know, and uh, uh, he, uh, I said to him, uh, "What do you mean I pay nothing? Do I pay or pay nothing?" He says, "You will pay only one hundred seventy-five dollars every month, but you pay for nothing." I said, "For how many years?" He said, "For the coming thirty years." Oh, man. I said, "I just pay, paid for enough money to buy a house." You scammer, you know, and look exactly. what they would do. Those people, what they would do, they will make you sign such a contract and then they will put a lien in your house because now they own in your property, they own a property. Oh, man. So if you try to even to sell your house, you can't even say it. You go to say it, they will find, they will find that they have a lien because you signed a contract. Yeah. Because yeah. now they install a physical property in your property and you own the money. So now if something happens in the future, you want to sell your house. You have to pay them a lot of money to let it go. <laughs> it's a scam. Huh. So, you yeah. know, and I said to him, uh, by the way, I have a degree in law. He said, okay, well, nice talking to you. 
And uh, I have to go. I said, no, no, wait, wait, wait. How many people you did lie to them today? And you told them you don't pay anything. He said, I'm not lying, sir. This is what it says here. You pay nothing. I said, you just told me I have to sign a contract to pay a, 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 a lot of money every month for the coming 30 years. How much the solar system will cost? 10,000s, the system, the whole thing, 15,000s. Yes. So they fool poor people, you know, they make exactly. them sign. And, you know, the law does not protect the fool. And this is the same as the Muslims. If you exactly. are a fool, they fight over to debate you. If you are a person who have answers, they will not even let you go through. 100%. Like the Dean show, you know, if you have a, if you are a Christian, you have a question, call us, I call them. The, 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 the recording is in YouTube. Uh, they did not let me go. You know, I called the first time, second time. They knew my voice right away. Oh, you know? yeah. They don't let me go. Right. But they are speaking in the TV that they take calls. And by the way, we never heard a call. Like the caller, he called. There's no call. It's a, it's a fraud. So, hello? Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But you don't hear the other person, you know, the one who's calling. Ah, oh, yeah. you are a Christian. Uh, okay. You want to know why in Islam is teaching to violence against Christians? Oh, okay. So the, the questions is made up by them because this is the topic they want to go with. There's no callers. The guy is answering cell phone, which did not, did not even ring. You know? Exactly. Yeah, so it's a, of... it is a fraud. And this is the same, this guy. If he is really a man, I will call him. Hmm? Exactly. I will call him. You can, you know, they, they claim that I, if I call them, they will mute me. You can mute me, you know, yourself. Go, mute me. So let everybody see the one who have the truth. The truth will set him free, the word of our Lord. But uh -huh. they are they are cowards. They are black stone kissers. They claim that they have God, and they claim that because they believe in one God, that will make them superior. Well, your God is an idiot God who thinks the sun set in murky water and muddy water in spring of water. The sun have a rising place, set in place. The sun... Uh, uh, you know, is, is where uh, Zul Qurnayn, he found it and he found the people of Gog and Magog and he built a dam and the dam is so, so big to the point nobody can find it after 1400 years. And by the way, not 1400 years, after a thousand of years, because this is go back to the time of Zul, Zul Qurnayn. So, <laughs> so uh, you know, they try to avoid any topic which is an embarrassment for yeah. Islam is an embarrassment. And right away they start to go to talk about the Trinity. Trinity is very simple. God is a tree. You like it or not, this is what we believe. Don't exactly. tell me logic. Don't tell me logic. It's not logical too to say that God is one and he is, uh, you know, the only God, yet he say he is the best of the creators. Uh -huh. exactly. Because how he is the only one and yet he is the best of the creators. If he say he is talking it's, about it, creating a bicycle, that means Allah is saying, I am the best who create bicycle too. Yeah. <laughs> and well, that easy creation. He's, he's not talking about universe creation. He's talking about I'm, I'm the best at creating easy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what? Not, what not, so, not, so, so if, even when they try to come with the, their own logic, their logic is so stupid and they will get, will get the God of Islam under the shoes. Because how you say to me, don't you create bicycles? So are you saying when Allah, he said, I am the best of the creators. He is comparing himself to the one who made a bicycle. When the verse yes. is the verses speak about what? The verses speak about making a baby. So how that how this will have to do with the bicycle thing? Creation, everybody knows the creation. God, he is the one who creates things out of nothing. This is what the creation. Anything else, you know, is not really creation. I made a bicycle out of material which I have. But I cannot create the material and I cannot give life. This is the most, this is the essence of creation, giving life. So when you show them those verses, they try to hide behind the world. And suddenly the creator here is talking about creating a car, creating computer. And that will make even Islam more funny and Allah more funny because he is saying he is the best who create a car. But yet yeah. Allah never, but Allah never made the one car. Exactly. You know? Yeah. I think I I think maybe you said this, but uh, like a light bulb went in my head. I, th I think it was you. Uh, the moment they say the Trinity does the Trinity doesn't make sense, they prove that the the God of the Christians is is the true God because they're they're claiming that uh, that their God is easy to understand, but in reality, the the real God is not easy to understand. He's outside of creation. 
So even when they they, they admit that the, the Christians have the most inconceivable God there there is in all religions, which my, proves my, that we my have friend, the truth. My friend, the Muslim, they don't even have a God. Okay, how you have a God, but you never spoke to your God. How you have a God, but you do not know who is your God. If you ask a Muslim what Allah means, they don't know. Everyone, he give you different answer. He will say to you, the creator. What the heck? I'm not asking you. I'm saying what the word Allah mean. The creator. No, 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 no. The creator is an Arabic word mean al-khaliq. I can show it from the Quran. So it is Allah is not a creator. The creator. Because if Allah is Allah mean as a word as a word mean the creator, and then you say Shahada, you say there's no creator but the creator, that's even more stupid. Yeah. When you say there's no God but God, that is even more stupid. You just said there's no God. Hundred percent. So how there's how no God and then but God? And then if the if the word Allah is the word mean God, then you should not say there's no God but Allah. You should say there's no Allah but Allah. Yeah. So they are confused about the name. They are confused about his nature. Okay, Allah have hands. Allah have a foot. Allah have a shin. Allah have a mouth. Allah have a body. Allah have a change his shape. What Allah is made of, nobody knows. Where is Allah? They do not know. Do Allah sit in the chair? Don't ask. Allah have a chair. So why he have a chair? You don't sit in it. You don't ask. You know. He put a shin there. He put a shin on the yeah. chair. Yeah. You know. Allah. <laughs> go and read any tafsir, any videos. There's Muslim videos. They says, ask, don't ask. How? Where? Don't ask. But he have a chair. The second you say chair, there's a chapter in the Quran called the chair chapter. Really? So how it's called the chair, huh? And it's not. It's and he. So why he have it? We have, and the Quran says he level himself according to the translation above the chair. Okay. So what does that mean? Level himself. He climbed. Don't ask. He said. Don't ask. <laughs> Do, is he standing? Because don't ask, you know. Exactly. Yes. All those verses in front of you, chapter seven, verse number fifty-four, uh, chapter uh, uh, ten, verse number three, chapter thirteen, verse number two, etc. So what? Where is Allah? Allah, He did this and that, and then He 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 established Himself on the throne. Okay, how He established Himself? Do Allah have an ass? Do He sit? You see. We as a Christian, we believe that God, he came as a man. His name is Jesus Christ. Yeah, 100%. Allah, is he a man? They will say no. Do he have can, a butt? They cannot answer because he have a we, body. Can we logically say that Allah is a girl because the, the Quran is feminine? It says the mother of book. So can I logically say that Allah no, is a No, actually the female? Quran confirmed that Allah is a male because the Quran keeps saying who Allah? He. It is he. Oh, okay. 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 Just because the, the Quran is, is uh, feminine, though. Because you, yeah, I, the Quran, from you, from yeah, you. But this is even this one will not match. Why? Because Muhammad, in different place, he said that the Quran will come as a failed, uh, you know, the word in English, like Shahib. You know, he will come as a, like a dead man. Uh, oh, okay. The, as a look. So he came, he will come as a man in the day of judgment. So how it is the mother of the books, yet he will come as a man. Maybe he, is a, he will change his gender. But oh. the Quran, <laughs> the Quran says, uh, that Allah, he sit on a chair and he is a male, and you know, uh, uh, and he have uh, three daughters. The, the 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 Arab believe. Well, how how the Arab they come to the teaching that Allah have uh, three daughters? Where this is coming from? If the Muslim they have a God, which is the God of Abraham, how does God for the Arabian who do not believe obviously in the teaching of Abraham or any belief of Abraham? How they have a God, he have a three daughters. They can't answer. How Muhammad, he said that he sent Khalid ibn Walid to kill the daughter of Allah, and he killed her. But because this is mean that Allah have a daughter if you killed her. <laughs> Go and search right now. Yeah. For the, 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 the mission of Khalid ibn Walid, the expedition, what do you call it in English? Is it, uh, uh, exp you mean commentary, explanation? No, 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 ex ex uh, ex uh, exhibition of uh, Khalid al Walid to kill Allah. Is it, is it in Arabic or English? No, no, you can find it in English too. The Muslim translate that, uh, thank to them. So, they, they you know, uh, 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 Muhammad, he ordered Khalid uh, to go that. and kill uh, the expedition. Let us see, let me see if I can find it. Uh, expedition? Yeah. 
اوف خالد بن وليد ان الجيك كيلينج اوف مالك بن نوريه نو ان الات ذا دوتر اوف الله ميبي يو كان سيرش ات اند يو فايند ات Okay, what is he gonna kill? <laughs> the daughter of Allah. The daughter of Allah. <laughs> But is it, is it, they see her walking to the store or what? I don't know. No, no, there's a story, you know, she was, there's a tree, uh, and you know, uh, let us see. Killing. Killing the devil at the idol of Allah. So here you see the story. How in the world uh, they don't believe in Allah. or the daughters of Allah, uh, Al-Uzza, sorry, not Allah, Al-Uzza. He Al killed Al-Uzza, you know? So, uh, how how in the world you don't believe uh, that those are exist, and then Muhammad, he killed Al-Uzza? You have it on the screen, or? Uh, I will, I will, I'm trying to find it. Oh, it's all good, yeah. Uh, let us see. Uh, Saad ibn Wi, telling the devil, it says, Killing the devil at the idol Al Azza, Tafsir ibn Kathir. Yeah, but this is not the devil. This is a female. What devil? It's a wow. female woman. She, you know, she have darker skin. She have a wild hair. Let us see. Let me see if I can find. It. So maybe you found it before me. Dark skin, wild hair. What is she yeah. black to? I know they don't like black. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I found it here. Let's see. Okay. Um, let us see. This is part of the story. I did not find the whole story, but you can <coughs> people can search. Now they know what we are looking for. So here it says, Khadim Walid, killing the devil. This may be the one you found from Ibn Kathir, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's I think the idol of Azza. Okay, how is an idol? You can kill the idol. Is idol is not someone is alive. They don't no. exist. Yeah. Okay. Here you will see that he killed a living woman. Killing the devil at all. There was a tree. Al Uzza was entered under three trees of the forest. In in Ma in Mecca there is a forest. It looked like Mecca was in Brazil. And then Khalid he cut the tree trees and he approached those ha uh, ha uh, houses, built around it and destroyed. When he went back, the prophet informed he informed the prophet the story. The prophet said to him, "Go back, finish your mission, for you have not finished it." Khalid, he went back, and when he, uh, uh, like, he get closer, uh, yeah. there, he, he saw uh, the servant of Al-Uzza, saw him, and they started invoking and calling Al-Uzza. When Khalid, he approached it, he found a naked woman whose hair was uh, uh, untied and who was throwing sands on her head. Khalid, he killed her with the sword. When he came back to the Prophet, the Prophet, he says, This is Al Uzza. <laughs> huh. So how you don't believe? How they don't believe that Al Uzza is a true daughter of Allah? And then Muhammad he killed Al Uzza. Ah, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can yeah. you kill? Can you kill something is not exist? Uh, maybe in Islam, but I guess not anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, just said, said, so, yeah. So the story is actually. Let me see if I can find. Uh, the whole story uh, I want to find the, the whole story because this is the, the website here it shows just a little part of the story uh, maybe here I, yeah. when you see. get it after, after this I want to tell you a funny story and then maybe you can tell me uh, the reason behind it yeah go after. ahead uh, um, <clears throat> so I have a so I, I'm from Iraq but uh, I, I know I know a couple of Shia guys, and uh, every time I see the Shia guy, he's an older fellow, and I say hi to him. I just I don't mean anything. I just want to say hi to him. When he's with his wife, he runs to me, so I don't get near his wife. At first, I didn't realize it, so I'm talking to him, "Hi, how are you doing?" But every time I see him with his wife, I say hi. He doesn't like he doesn't let me go close to his wife, and I'm like, "What's wrong with this guy? Does he think I'm gonna steal his wife or something?" He doesn't let me get close to his wife. Is that like a Shia thing? Maybe he thinks I'm nedges. No, or all, all Muslims are they have a feeling of insecure, you know. He yeah. he he fear that you know, the wife she would do something and they don't trust their women you know so if mm -hmm. she get closer and closer to you she might give you her phone number yeah, she exactly. might <laughs> she might uh, put something in your pocket you know to tell you something call oh, me later yeah. you know so because yeah. they are they, because they are insecure this is the truth because they are insecure so he have to guard her side so if you move to the other side he will move too you know because uh, he don't trust oh, his yeah. wife. 
you oh man that's funny I'm, I'm telling you every time i see this guy he doesn't let me get yeah. i don't i don't care about his wife i just don't i'm like what's wrong with this guy? yeah Muslim, they don't get... they don't trust their women because and the men the women they don't trust their men too i mean this is the same both it's a the muhammad he says a man he can lie to his wife and the wife she can lie to her husband so how, how you can have a trust in such a atmosphere you know uh, actually i i found here in kathir i i went to ibn kathir the official uh, english website but I don't know if Ibn Kathir he showed the story of a lad in details in the translation in Arabic. Yes, let us see. So here we go. Uh, have you considered a lad? A lad was a white stone inscribed, etc. And then, okay. Uh, let us see the story. Here we go. The story of Khalid sent by the Prophet of Allah to kill Al Uzza. So Khalid, he, he, uh, he uh, went to the era of An Nakhla. Or the area, uh, Nakhla is a palm tree, where oh, okay. the idol was uh, uh, of Al Uzza uh, was created. Three trees of uh, of a forest. Have you ever heard of a forest of a three trees? Anyway, Harid yeah. he cut the cut the trees and approached the house, built around those trees, and he destroyed them. He went back and he informed the Prophet of Allah about what he did. The Prophet he said to him, "Go back. You did not finish your mission." Khalid, he went back, and when he uh, get closer, he found the servants of the Al Uzza, and he, they start invoking by calling Al Uzza. So then he found a naked woman whose hair was unt uh, uh, un untied, and who was showing uh, sh throwing sands in her head and etc. Khalid he killed her with the sword, and he went back to the Messenger of Allah. What the Messenger of Allah he says? That is Al Uzza. Tilka Al Uzza. This is that was. Al Uzza. So Muhammad he confirmed that this is the Uzza. Huh. How they say it is an idol, how they say it is not exist, how they say it is false, how they say Allah doesn't have daughter, and then you say, Well, this is Al Uzza. Uh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely save this one. <laughs> and this is you know, and you can you know this is the chapter of uh, the book of Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, yeah. and uh, uh, chapter 53, verse number 96. Okay, if you can, uh, maybe just put it in the Yeah, in the well, well, this website here does not really give a link. I don't know if I can create a link for this, but I will give you the, ma the main link. You, you have to go, click at the, uh, at the chapter number, choose it, and then cho choose, you see, as you see, it shows uh, just three. Tafsir, you know, you have to click it open Tafsir only. So yes. go there, Click at the chapter 53 here, yeah. choose 53, and then you go to the right of the page and you choose 19 to 26. It's 19, we would, what we want, but here it shows you from 19 to 26. And you go down in the page, you will see it. I, I, I just pulled it up right now. Awesome. Yeah. So how they say, how stupid this religion is. Imagine I say to you, uh, let's, let's say I am an atheist. And then I yeah. say there's no God. And then I said to you, I saw three trees. It's a forest made of three trees, which is very weird. I mean, what the heck of this forest, how big it is. And then I saw the God and I killed him there. You just said there's no God. Yeah, it's backwards thinking. Like, so pick, pick a if, side. If there, is, if there is no God, how you can kill the God? Exactly. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. If there is no Uzza, how we kill the Uzza? Yeah. And, and then you need to ask yourself here more questions. Why Muhammad killing the daughter of Allah if he agreed that Al Uzza is exist? Yeah. So he's obviously he's he's obviously still has his pagan traditions, right? You know when people they leave they leave like a culture. He, he never it's, left. It, he never left his paganism. You know, Muhammad, he tried in the beginning to change his direction of everything so that Christians and the Jews will accept him. So he stopped praying in the direction of Jerusalem, correct? Yeah, I heard from you. When yeah, the I... Jews refused to, to pray with him, to accept him, to be worshipping the same God, uh, Muhammad, he says, if only 10 Jews believe in me, the whole Jews will believe. So he could not even make 10 Jews believe. Just even 10. He could not make them believe. That's so nothing, small number. Yeah. So... Uh, uh, even the fake ones now, like today, they, they have more than 10. 
They I know, Muhammad. you see, exactly. How come Muhammad in his time could not make 10 Jews believe? And now there's Jews, there's some Jews, they convert to Islam. Maybe there's, I don't know, maybe a year will be, you find one or two, maybe. Uh, but how in the world uh, he was praying toward Jerusalem? And then Allah, he said to him, I see that you are turning your face around. We are going to give you a new direction to pray, a, a direction which please in you. And then he said to him, pray in the direction of the Kaaba. So did they lie? Did they lie? It says amongst their chiefs, like their leaders. Is that, is that real? No, yeah, it's a lie. It says here, just in Jews. This is false. You see this uh -huh. uh, actually even in translation. It's, it's between two brackets, right? Yeah. So the Hadith doesn't say that. The Hadith says uh -huh. 10 Jews, if only 10 Jews. Nowhere it says 10 rabbis or, you know, 10 Jews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this is repeated yeah. many places, you know. If there is only 10 Jews here, you see here the translation is more accurate. Ah, there are 10 scholars. If 10 scholars, but nowhere in Arabic it says scholars, they add things. That's why I say if you don't speak Arabic, they can fool you, they can lie to you. You, you know Arabic, right? Uh, no, I speak. I speak a mixed a mixed language. Ah, okay. You see, mixed. if you know Arabic, they will not even let you talk with them. Oh yeah, I've, I've seen. The, I've, for you, because they not they notice they notice you say that. You know, you 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 they, they notice that you speak Arabic. They are in trouble. Uh, yeah, nobody. Uh, like nobody. Like everybody wants to debate the other guys, but nobody gets close to you. So I've 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 noticed because yeah, and uh, you know, ask always yourself. The one who says anyone is welcome to call me. And the one who says, I will debate only face to face with this guy. Obviously, they are making excuse. Uh, yeah, what's, what's, what's like they're, they're, now, gonna, they're gonna put on the internet anyways. Yeah, now, face -face. yeah, we are he is an internet, I am internet. So what is the what what is the face to face thing? And now you call me. If you have answers which is going to get me busted, people will hear it. Exactly. You so know, what, even what is the point? And if I if I if like we made a challenge, like this guy supposed to he's a big guy. So if I hang up on him and I run away, that will be embarrassing for me. For you, yeah, if you do it. Yeah, yeah because if I do it, that's mean I'm running away from him. You know, yeah. I, I hang up on kids. You know, I, I say, they, they keep saying, you know, they, they speak over me. They don't want to let me talk. And, you know, okay, I, uh, they'll start doing bully. So I hang up on them. But I, 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 never, I never hang up on someone he claimed to be a sheikh. Oh yeah, for sure. I've seen those videos. Yeah, you I know. never you... hang up in somebody. He knows what he is talking about, and I never hang up in somebody. Speak serious. You give them a good like hour though. Like me, I'm lucky yeah. if I get like three minutes. And me, even I, if I, I hang up on them, that's after like what you know, like long hour, conversation. Yeah. Like uh, we are, we are reached the point. There's no point. That's it. You know. Exactly. Yeah. But yeah. like your your books, like I I read I read like a half, maybe a little bit of your book. Like it's it's very damaging to Islam. Like I was laughing. I remember one thing in your book. It says, uh, Muhammad said, "Sell me your land, and I'll 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 make you a reservation in heaven. It's okay. Just give me your land. I want your land. I'll, I'll get you." Yeah. I'm like, what is this garbage? This guy, this guy's buying real estate, and he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna give him a spot in heaven. It's a good business, something. you know. Imagine I convinced <laughs> you now to give me your money in the bank because I will give you ten times more in heaven. <laughs> It's your your it's, book. Your book is damaging. It's a it's a great business, you know. If you can convince people to do that, you know, like just give me your money now, I will pay you in heaven, brother. You know, ten time more, ten time, when, when, ten a, mil time. a million time, brother. Every dollar you give me now, I will give you a million dollar in heaven. <laughs> exactly. But you you remember which one though? The one I think. Yeah, yeah. The story was... about I think this is you are, you are, uh, There's many stories there, but I think you're st sticking about the the uh, the field of Abu Dahdah. Something like that. Yeah, it was funny. I'm like, what is? I'm like, who believes in this guy? I'm like, give me some real estate. I'll give you some heaven. We we make a trade. Like, what yeah. is? <laughs> it's it's yeah. crazy, bro. Yeah. I will give you a corner lot. Exactly. In the heaven, you know. Uh, uh sorry, man. I don't want to. I don't want to waste your yeah. time. I, before I forget, you mentioned something important last time that made me think. Uh, you, remember the name Isa, and you, you said Muhammad got it mixed up. Isa. Isa. Yeah. So, uh, in Aramaic, we we say Isa. Right, so I'm I'm thinking maybe he got those two names mixed up, Esau for Jesus and Isa for for the the one in the Old Testament. Well, uh, it's possible, but you see, let us say he messed up with the name, with the Aramaic pronunciation, which is not even not the same. Uh, like in Arabic, we say Yeshua, right? Yeah, yeah. 100%. So, uh, 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 Isa is totally far. Secondly, this Isa is the son of Maryam. 
and Maryam is the sister of Aaron and here and the grandfather is Omran how we can fix this problem so Omran is the same father of Moses yeah Miriam is the sister of Aaron the daughter of Imran so if Muhammad he got the name wrong of Isa as Isa how he yeah. got the sister of uh, that Mary is the sister of Aaron and how he made the father of Aaron the father of Mary that's what I'm wondering I don't know I don't know if the Muslims well, what happened what happened that in the Old Testament, Maryam is exist. She is a real woman. She is the sister of Aaron, the sister of Moses. Yes. And uh, I believe that some of the Jews, this is not from the Bible, they believe that Maryam, she have a son. His oh. name is Isa. So, oh. so the stupid Muhammad, he look at it, okay, Isa, the son of Maryam. Maryam is the sister of Aaron. So Maryam is the... You know, Isa is the is the is the is the nephew of Moses, and this is why here you see in the Quran the holy chapter here is called the chapter of Ali Amran. When you see the name, you think, oh, this is talking about Moses. And by the way, even Amran is wrong because in the Bible it's Amram, M, not N. So this guy is deaf; he does not know what the Jews are saying, and maybe wow. because the Jews are speaking in their Hebrew, so he did not get the name right. It yeah. is Amram, not Amran. So oh, Amram suddenly he become the father of of Mary, and uh, he you know uh, his wife she gave birth to her, uh, and he mentioned even Zechariah and he mentioned uh, John the Baptist which is Yahya, which it is additional proof that Muhammad is a fraud. Why, you know, uh, uh, if you ask a Muslim why we cannot find uh, the Quran us using the word Yahweh. This is what God he said to Moses when he met him, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Who are you, Yahweh? Okay, why we cannot find in the Quran the word Yahweh? They say to you because the the Bible is corrupted, and this is a fake pagan god. You know, you changed. Oh, this, yeah, you changed. But then when you see Zechariah, Zechariah is part of the name of Yahweh, the same as Yahya. You know. Yeah. So, yeah. Sure. So Muhammad, because he is a stupid, he copied the names, but he do not know what the names meant. As usual, the same as Didat was he was making fun of Israel. If you watch the video of Didat, huh, your book, your book says that Jacob he was fighting with God, struggling with God, wrestling with God. Who wanna believe in that? Yeah. But then his Quran says Israel. The second you accept the name, you accepted the story because Jacob, his name is Jacob. How he become Israel? Yeah, you're a smart guy. Wait, I didn't, I didn't realize that until I heard you say it. I'm like, this guy. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, ha I'm happy we have Christian friends. So, <laughs> so, so, you know, the Muslims are people who they laugh at you, but in fact they are laughing at their own religion. They forgot that Islam is a counterfeit of other people books. The same as did that he was making fun of the Bible says that God created the sun in the fourth day. How that can happen? The earth was without light, but the fact the Bible says, God, he said from the beginning, let be light and light was. And then we go, we find that Muhammad copying exactly word by word. And he says, he add some of, you know, some, uh, some shrimp and some spice as usual. Uh, uh, so he says that Allah, he created the sun, the light actually, in Wednesday. The same thing the that was laughing at is the same thing Muhammad he said, and this is Sahih Muslim, which is Sahih. The video of the that is there. So when the Muslim, like today, even the guy, the reason we are here, we were talking about how Eve she was, and the women they were supposed to be punished, right, for for the sin of Eve. So he was asking why why women are punished. Then we open his books and we find that his God, he, he believed that the reason for everything wrong is women because of Eve. So they laugh at you because of their ignorance or they are assuming that you do not know so they can play with you. But if the second you know what is in their books, you get their laundry and you put them in their face. Yeah. 100%. I started to save your work, you know, like, uh, because I'm really sick of these. Like, you know why I started calling? 
it's funny. The only reason I started calling was because I started to look at the guys that were doing a terrible job. And I get frustrated, man. So it forces me to call. You know, just like you said, you said you don't want to do this job. It's a stupid job, but nobody's doing it. So you have to do it. Yeah, you, you know, know, study more, get reference ready when you want to speak about something, have it handy. And uh, because they will not give you time, they will hang up on you, you know. They will not let you talk. The second they notice that they are not making good of the conversation, you know, uh, doesn't serve their, their business. They will hang 100%. up on you. Yeah. 100%, man. All right, but, my uh, friend. Yeah, I learned a lot from you, man. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Have a good day. You too. Uh, we will take calls based on order we receive. So there's some people that text me already, but I will take the first one who texts before you guys. Uh, let's see. Hello? Hello? Yes, who is with me? All right. Um, I, I'm a Christian, so... All right. How thank you? you. Yes. First of all, I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for giving us eternal life through his death, burial, and resurrection so that we might be saved. I mean to that. And also, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity just to speak. I'm not going to take long. I just want to say just a few words and I'm going to leave. Can all I right. say that? Sure. Thank you, sir. Yes, um, I've been watching your video and your previous videos. And um, I've seen that uh, Islam is an exposed cult which needs to be rebuked and it has to be told, especially the followers, that unless you accept the Lord Jesus Christ, who came into this world to die for our sins so that you and I may go to heaven, if that message is not preached to them, they are blinded to the gospel and they will deny the Lord and they will die and they will go to hell. That's number one. Number two, um, what you have also exposed in your videos is number one, the Muslims are hypocrites. And what you have just said, like during your own videos, is evident by what we see today in this world. Just recently, I was watching a video of, a, you know, you see, I've, you know, in in TV, we always see, oh, Palestine, Palestine, what, Israel, you know, killing them, blah, blah, blah. So I want to research about what was happening because, you know, we in Africa, we don't listen much to those things. We listen to our, you know, to our concerns. But anyways, I was looking to what was happening in regards of Palestine and Israel and stuff. And when you dig deep to the history, you realize that the issue of Palestine and Israel, first of all, Palestine is not an Arab land. It is not. I was reading this uh, website talking about the Arab conquest of the Israel-Palestine land, which is Israel, by the way. That land is called the land of Israel. Before, before the Arabs came and conquered that land, that land originally belonged to the Jews. Of course, there was the occupation of the Greeks and the Romans because the Romans also conquered as the form of their empire. But originally, when you read the book of Genesis, chapter 11, I guess, no, chapter 12 or chapter 11, between those uh, chapters, God tells Abraham, Abraham, leave your kindred, leave your family, and go to the land which I will show you, which I will give unto you and unto your descendants. And that is the land where our Lord Jesus Christ was born, in the land of Judea, the land of Israel. That was until the Arabs came under, I don't know who's their leader, they came and they conquered that place. That was before we had any, it, there was no Arab identity in Israel ever since, until the Arabs came and conquered them, the Arab Muslims. So, 
when they were exiled from their land, because it was from 70 AD up to 1949, when Israel was declared as a nation, that is over 1,300 years. Over 1,300 years, the Jews were outside of their land because they were being exiled. And when they come back, they want to make noise. They don't want to go back to the history. They don't want to go back to what happened, but they want to use their feelings. Why? Because for them, feelings is just what they have. It's what I realized. That's step number one. Number two, number two, they love talking about the issue of terrorism. And I thank you and the other uh, people who do this uh, researches about Islam being a tourist religion. I want to take an example. The um the second Chechen war. Yeah, let us not let us not to go in details. I mean, don't don't focus in Chechen war and focus on Muhammad. He is the first terrorist and the biggest terrorist. Who care about yes. the rest? You see, because the Muslim they might say to you, Osama bin Laden is not a Muslim. He is a bad person. Blah 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 blah. Why would I do with that? You know, the Quran says, "I will install terror in their heart." This is the Quran. Muhammad says, "I've been commanded to kill all mankind." Until and I, I I was victorious by terror, so don't go there. There's no, you know focus in the head of the snake. Secondly, yes. you mentioned Israel. There's no need to go and tell them from the Bible, from Genesis, because they will say to you, we don't believe in it. The Quran, chapter five, verse number twenty-one says that Allah taught Moses, and Moses taught the people, all my people, enter the holy land, which Allah has assigned into you, and do not yes. turn your back from fighting for Allah, cause supposedly. So he can be loser. So according to the Quran, the Jews, they have a duty to kill every single Palestinian, not to leave one of them, and to take the land, for this is a land being given to them. You will notice the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine, never mentioned yes. the word Palestinian, and those who they are there, those are the Arab, as you say, do I agree? Omar al-Khattab, he, 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 you know, uh, first Muhammad, he tried to occupy it. He made the, the attack of Tabuk, and he failed. So then when he could not do it, Omar al-Khattab, he came back again, and he attacked, and he was successful to take over Jerusalem. Yes. So they never entered that land. That land never spoke Arabic before. And even yes. long after nobody speak Arabic, the first one who started making the population speak Arabic, it was Abdul Malik ibn Marwan, and all the Muslims, they knew that. It, this is their history. They cannot deny it. And before yes. that, even in, even in Iraq, even in Syria, even in Israel, not a single person speak Arabic. Period. Even even in Morocco and Libya and Tunisia. Yeah, those are, are those Arabs. later. Those are not Arab, sure. But I, I mean, focus always in the head of the snake. Don't yes. go to Shishenia. I mean, we know that Shishenia is a country of terrorists, and they, that's what they do: drugs and you know, and Pakistan yes. and Afghanistan. But they will say to you, "This is not Islam." You know, they, you know, they can they can, <laughs> they can they can escape that by saying so. Focus yeah. in the in the terrorist Muhammad. Muhammad he killed the women. She is over the 86 years old. He cut her two pieces, the same as Al-Qaeda did and Al ISIS. Muhammad, he killed a man. He's very old. He's a Jewish guy. He sent an assassination to kill him. Muhammad, he killed hundreds of Jews. Muhammad, he slaughtered. He took women. He raped them. So, and Muhammad, he says, I've been victorious by terror. So why I need to quote Chechenian president? Sure. You know, I will quote Muhammad. Which one is valid for Islam? Muhammad for sure. The Muslim, they cannot deny that uh, Muhammad is the prophet. So they can say everyone, every terrorist is not a Muslim. But the second you show them Muhammad saying, I've been victorious by terror. Yeah, well, they are. Yes. What that's why if you, if, yeah. yes, uh, like sorry for the step. That's why if you go to places like Dubai, I don't think Dubai practices really Islam because. But there's no, there's they, no zero, there is zero Islam in Dubai. What Dubai? Yeah. Dubai is the land of the bikini and, and vodka and uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> anyway, my friend, thank you for calling because there's more people trying to call. That's fine, sir. Thank God you, thank you for calling. God. Thank you. Yes. Take care. Thanks, uh, we have Abdullah Marzouk, the guy who posts in Arabic. Let us see. Hello? Mute YouTube, mute YouTube. I have two sound. Okay. Go hello, ahead. Sir. Go ahead, Marzouk. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. هل تسمعني يا نعم اسمعك يا هذا هل تسمعني هذه هذه اذاعه البي بي سي هل تسمعني 
نعم أسمعك بوضوح نعم نعم حول أنت تقول أشياء خاطئة يا أيها الصديق العزيز حدثنا ولا حرج مثل ماذا؟ مثل الحجر الأسود المقدس هذه هذا خ... أعلامك خاطئة علمك خاطئ لماذا تقبل الحجر الأسود يا مرذوق؟ التقبيل كاحترام آه هل, تح... هل... هل لماذا تحترم الحجر الأسود؟ مثل ما أنتم تحترمون الصليب آه الصليب المسيح قتل على الصليب هل... هل, قت... هل قتل محمد على الحجر الأسود؟ نعم هل قتل محمد على الحجر الأسود؟ لا الصليب حيث صليب المسيح فله مكان لأن هذا الصليب هو أفضل أكبر ما قدمه المسيح هنا فلماذا أنت لماذا أنت تقبل الحجر الأسود؟ لكن أنتم تقبلون صور السيد لا نقبل أنا لا أقبل هذا ليس من المسيحية هذا أشخاص يتصرفون كما شاءوا رسولك قد قبل الحجر الأسود فهل هو إنسان بعيد عن الإيمان أو أما أنه يطبق الإيمان؟ لم أفهمك يا تتكلم بسرعة تتكلم بسرعة وأتكلم ب... 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 ست... سوف أتكلم ببطء حينما قبل نعم. رسولك الحجر الأسود نعم. هل قبله وهو مخالف للدين أم أنه موافق للدين أكيد موافق للدين على أي أساس أثبت تفضل فهو من أزاع الدين من رسول وهو رسول الله ليس فقط. هناك ليس هناك بمشكلة لماذا قبل الحجر الأسود؟ ك... ك... فإن الحجر الأسود جاء من الجنة إذا أتاك حمار من الجنة هل تقبله؟ على الخدين آه و... ولماذا على على الردفين؟ ولماذا أنت تغار من الحمار؟ ولماذا على الردفين؟ لماذا لا تقبل الحمار في ردفيه؟ وسأقبله رتفيه وخ. أوكي رتفيه مزود. دعني أترجم للناس لحظة. So uh, uh, he said, uh, uh, I am saying wrong stuff about the black stone, and the reason the Islam, the Muslim, they killed, they kiss the black stone because they respect the black stone. So I said, why you respect the stone? Because he said, don't you Christian, you know, kiss the cross and respect the cross. I said, well, if Jesus, he died in the cross, that is a reason for the Christian to have a value for the cross. Did your prophet Muhammad, was was he killed in the black stone? So why you kiss it? He said, and I asked him, when he did, he was doing that in agreement with the religion of Allah or against the teaching of Allah. He says, in total agreement. Marzu. When Muhammad Muhammad as a hajar al-aswad, what happened? It happened in the sky فمئات من الأشخاص أصبحوا مسلمين الصلاة والسلام عليه آه. مرزو هل لديك كاميرا؟ لا هل أنت متأكد؟ نعم يعني أحس أنك تعصر نفسك عصرا أعصر نفسي؟ ما ماذا تعد في ذلك القول؟ طب اسمع اسمع رسولك قال أن من قبل الحجر الأسود أو لمسه واليمن والركن اليماني فإنه فإن الحجر الأسود والركن اليماني يماني يعني يمحي سنه يمحي يمحي ذنوبه ما رأيك؟ نعم نعم فأصبحوا مسالمين مع الله سبحانه وتعالى كيف يمحي الحجر الأسود الذنوب؟ إلا الحجر الحجر نفسه لا يمحي الذنوب إنما ما هو وراء الحجر؟ ما هو وراء الحجر؟ أفصح مثل ما عندكم الكاهن يمحي الذنوب الكا... الكاهن لا يمحي الذنوب في المسيحية لا. ليس الكاهن إما أنما الصلاة نفسها هي التي تمحي الذنوب أن... أنت... أنت قد لمست حجرا فكيف لمس الحجر الحديث يقول من لمس الحجر اليمن الك... الحج... الحجر الأسود وال... وال... والركن اليماني هذه الحجارة فقد مسحت خطايا من يمسح خطايا بلمس الحجر هذا مثل مثل التقاليد مثل الرمز حينما سيدنا عيسى اغسل رجلين التلاميذ فان ما دخل هذا بهذا هذا حجر لا يضر عمر 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 قال هذا حجر لا يضر ولا ينفع 
نعم لا يضر ولا ينفع اذا اذا فان رسولك قد كذب لانه قال من مسح الحجر الاسود والركن اليماني فان خطاياه قد تمسح فاما ان يكون له فائده او لا فائده والفائده في الحديث تقول ان من مسح الحجر ولمس لا. الحجر فقد مسحت خطاياه فكيف يكون عمر صادق ويكون محمد صادق أننا نحن نتبع أقوال وأفعال سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم آه ماذا يعني هذا؟ لم تجيب أنا أسألك هل كذب عمر؟ أم صدق عمر؟ آه إنه خاطئ آه. أنا Let me translate آه. Guys, I, I said to him Your prophet, he said that if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner your sin is going to be erased and then I said to him Omar, he's, Omar, he said, the caliphate that the black stone is useless, neither harmless, which means doesn't do anything. It's it's useless. It's harmless. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't benefit. So I said to him, so did Omar lie when he said, because according to your prophet, the black stone is useful. Omar, he said, it's useless. Which one of them is lying? He said that Omar is wrong. He is mistaken. Okay. نعود لك يا مرزو. هل كان عمر صادق أم كاذب؟ خاطئ أنا لم أنا لم أسألك عن الخطأ لا تخطئ في الدين ليس هناك خطأ في الدين وهو من صحابة الرسول هل هل كذب أم صدق؟ لا أنت محامي ومحامي جيد ولكن هل كذب هل كذب أم صدق؟ أعطينا الجواب لك أنه خاطئ مثلما الله سبحانه وتعالى أليس أليس رسولك من قال من من نقل عني شيء لم اقوله فليتبوأ مقعده في في جهنم. نعم وانني لا اقول فكيف, فكيف يقول عمر ان هذا الحديث هذا الحديث وفقا للدين لماذا لم يقل له محمد انت كذاب انت مخطئ؟ حين تذهب الى الى الاخره ستراه في جهنم لانه هذا الخطا خطا. اه سو ليت اس ليت اس اي اسك هيم So did uh, uh, did Omar did lie or he is saying the truth? He said he is just saying mistake. Then I insist I want an answer. I'm not asking for a mistake. Did he lie or he told the truth when he said the black stone is useless? And now he agreed that when I when I go to to uh, to hell, I will find Omar there. إذن أنت وافقت بأن عمر سوف يكون في جهنم. إننا نتكلم إذا إذا اتبعنا على كلام الرسول أنه خاطئ فإنه سيذهب إلى جهنم نعم هل أنت خاطئ؟ أكيد أن غير صح إذا فسوف تذهب إلى جهنم أيضا أتمنى لا لكن أحاول أن لا أذهب هل إلى هل سوف يذهب محمد إلى جهنم؟ <تصفيق> العذر يا أخي هل سوف يذهب محمد إلى جهنم؟ هذا أنا أنا لست بالله واستغفر الله العظيم أليس القرآن قال وما منكم إلا وردها؟ أنا لا أقدر أن أجاوب لك هذا الجواب Guys I'm asking him let me let me دعني أترجم uh, He said uh, is, uh, are you going to go to heaven to hell? He said maybe I don't know I'm not sure I'm not God I said what about Muhammad he will go to hell? He's not sure I said well Isn't it the Quran says, not even a single one of you, but he will enter hell? And then he said, I cannot answer this question. لماذا لا تستطيع أن تجيب؟ وما منكم إلا وردها. القرآن قد أجاب. وما منكم إلا وردها. ورد ورد الشيء أي أتاه وأقبل عليه ودخل فيه. أنا لا 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 أعلم. لا أعلم. أنت لا تعلم. القرآن يعلم. القرآن يقول بأنه وليس منكم حتى شخص واحد إلا واردها جهنم not even a single one of you but he will enter hell فكيف ترد بقول لا أعلم هل, هل, هل عدم العلم من جهلك أم من جهل الرسول من جهلنا جميعا إذا رسولك جاهل طبعا كلنا جاهلين في هذه الحياة نعم, نعم. أحسنت يا مرزوق أحسنت هل ربك جاهل أيضا أنا قلت كلنا جاهلين في هذه الحياة آه. رب ليس منا آه ربك ولكن المتكلم هو ربك فلماذا لا تعلم؟ 
ربك قال وما منكم إلا واردها المتكلم هو الرسول المتكلم هو الرسول ليس الله ليس الله المتكلم إذا إذا القرآن من من صنع البشر وليس من صنع الله المتكلم هو من أتاه الوحي هل هو وحي أم أنه كلام الرسول فهو من من الوحي الذي أتى للرسول إذا المتكلم هو الله المتكلم ليس هو الله فإنما من هو الذي قال من الذي قال وما منكم إلا واردها وما ولما يهمك إن ذهبت إلى جهنم هل تريد أن okay. تصافح let, let me translate let me translate things are getting funny those who translate Arabic they will die with this video so listen guys so I said to him so your God Allah he said not even a single one of you but he will go to hell not like here in translation says pass over it he will enter hell he says Yes, all of us, we will go to hell. What is the problem? I said, including Muhammad. He said, including Muhammad. I said, what about Allah? He said, no, Allah is not one of us. <laughs> I said, okay, how come Allah is saying not a single one of you will enter it? But you said to me, I do not know how to answer the question. Marzu. وَمَا مِنْكُمْ إِلَّا وَارِدُهَا هَلْ أَخْطَأَ مُحَمَّدْ أَمْ أَخْطَأَ اللَّهِ سألتني هذا السؤال من قبل قليل لم أسألك أن أخطأ الله أم أخطأ محمد هذا هذا سؤال يعني مبتكر هل أخطأ الله حينما قال هذا الكلام أنه أو أنه كان صحيح أنت تتبع أسلوب التضليل فتلف وتدور وأنا أقسم بالله أنك سألتني هذا السؤال أن أنا ألف وأدور ألا أنت أنت لست أنت من تدور حول الكعبة سبع مرات؟ ثمانية تسع مرات فإذا فإذا فأنت إذا متعود على على الدوران فدور معي يا أخي لماذا هل أخطأ الله حينما قال أن أن ليس منكم حتى بشخص واحد بل سوف يدخل جهنم اسمعني يا صديقي العزيز نعم. اسمع أرد عليك بطريقة ثانية نعم يا أبو حفص أغرق الله سبحانه وتعالى آه. البشر جميعا آه. فقال لنوح آه. أنا أخطأت ولا يجوز مني أن أعيد نفس الخطأ ف... ففي المستقبل أين, سأ... أين, أين نجد هذا الكلام الذي قلت لنا العهد القديم هل أنت تؤمن بالعهد القديم أنا أؤمن بجميع الأديان آه هل أنت هندو؟ لا أؤمن هل... بجميع الأديان السماوية السماوية هل هل الإسلام من دين سماوي؟ نعم فإنه دين سماوي Let me translate Guys, he is saying that you are a person who asks questions and you go around it in circle So I said to him Don't you Muslim you go seven times around the Kaaba? Go with me Let us circle together He is trying to avoid answering any question And then now he is saying that uh, uh, Noah, he said, don't make that mistake again when the flood happened. And I said, where do you get this from? He said, from the Old Testament. I said, you believe in it? He said, I believe in all religion. I said, do you believe in Hindus? He said, no. He said, I believe in, in the sky heavenly religions. So I'm asking him, is Islam is a heavenly religion? So, Marzu, هل الإسلام دينه سماوي? الإسلام نعم أتى من السماء أتى من الله هل الله في السماء؟ نعم في أي سماء؟ هل نظرت إلى الفوق؟ لم أنظر إلى فوق لا أنا أنظر إلى تحت يمكن أن تنظر إلى تحت وهل هناك فوق وهناك تحت؟ والشمال والجنوب والغرب ليس وما... هناك فوق وتحت أنت الآن إن كنت في النهار تعتقد أن ما فوقك فوقك بت وما فوقك هو تحت في 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 ساعة أخرى من الليل سوف تصبح تحتك ما هو ما هو ما هو فوقك الآن هو تحتك غدا اسمع كيف يكون الإسلام دين سماوي وهو يعلم الزنا والفحشاء وحتى اللواط اللواط نعم so let me translate. I'm saying to him how Islam is. He says Allah is up. I said we're up. What is up now is going to be down later in a few hours. So I said to him how Islam is a heavenly religion, uh, like the same as Abrahamic religion. If your God Allah, he taught he te teach uh, uh, fornication and teach uh, even uh, loudness and uh, uh, homosexuality. 
He said homosexuality. Where is that? Okay. Is it? Alisa, Alisa Rasulah, كما نقول, إنه في الجنة رسول ليس فيه لا بيع ولا شراء إلا صور النساء والرجال. هذا من 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 الكلام من 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 أفكار الذي تتبع الامرأة حين تستشهد وهناك يوجد غلمان ورجال هل فهمت علي؟ لم أفهم هل تكلمت بالعربية؟ نعم أي لغة هذا؟ أنا ما أفهم شيء أعد ها؟ أعد أعد وات نساء أي نساء أنا أسألك هل وعدك الرسول في الجنة أه. بأن أه. هناك سوق فيه ليس فيه بيع ولا شراء إلا صور النساء والرجال فإذا اشتهى الرجل صورة دخل فيها نعم صورة للنساء صورة لا لا صور للرجال والنساء صور للرجال من صور وإذا من اشتهى صور موجودة إن كانت امرأة فتشتهي لا لا, لا. أوكي let me translate guys I said to him isn't it your prophet he says that in heaven there is a market where there's no buying nor selling except images of men and women. And if a man, he uh, like an image to have sex with it, he entered, he says, uh, yeah, it says, but it doesn't say uh, uh, um, uh, men only. If a woman, she like a, a, a picture, she enter it and she can have sex with it. Marzuk, هذا هو الحديث أمامك وهو يقول هذا بالعربية إن في الجنة لسوقا لا فيه شراء ولا بيع إلا الصور من الرجال والنساء فإذا اشتهى الرجل صورة دخل فيها نعم من, من الزبون رجل نعم نعم كيف يشتهي الرجل صورة لرجل آه هذا الكلام منذ ألوف السنوات آه لم يتكلمون عن المرأة نسبة إلى الرجل آه guys uh, let me translate so guys I said why your prophet saying in the beginning, he denied. He said this is not true. And now he's saying, it says here in Arabic, you can read it, that those are images of men and women. If the man, he liked the image, he go inside it and he if it. He said, yes, but in the old days, they talk about like men are like women. What the heck does that mean? I have no idea. Marzouk, in the past, 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 in the تفهمني جيدا اوضح 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 اقول لك اعذرني يا اعذرني يا امير انا واقول لك ان هذا الكلام منذ 2000 سنه واكثر هذا القلام من منذ ابد الزمان وحيث النساء لم يكونوا في المستوى الذي نقدر ان نتقبلهم انهم يشتهون الرجال اه ف... اذا فان رسولك قد كذب علينا فهو لم يتكلم عن الجنه لان الجنه سوف تحصل في المستقبل ما لن تفهمني اعذرني لا أنت... فهمتك فهمت انت قلت ان النساء في ذلك الزمان نعم. لا... لا ليس من المعقول ان نقول انهم يشتهون الرجال نعم انه عيب ان نتكلم عن النساء هذا هذا كلام غير صحيح رسولك قال في الحديث ان للرجل شهوه وللمراه ماءة شهوه ماءة شهوه؟ ماء ماذا تقول انت؟ نعم يا هذا Let me translate So guys I said to him, how your prophet, he says that. He said, at that time, it's not right to say women, they have desire. So he said, only men will enter the pictures. But in fact, women, they like that too. But because at that time is not suitable. I said, this is false. Because he said that customers are only men. And he said at that time, but I said to him, but this is about the heaven time in the future. So if it was not a good thing to say at that time, the Prophet is not promising us something for that time. He is promising us for the future, for this is about heaven. Same time, uh, he said that women didn't have a desire like the man. I said, this is false. Your Prophet, he says, the man have one desire, the women, they have a hundred. Marzouk, هل للرجل 
شهوة واحدة وللنساء شهوات؟ هل أستطيع أن أسألك أنا سؤال؟ لقد سألتني كثير من الأسئلة هل تغير الموضوع يا هذا؟ لا لا, لا أبدا أبدا أوكي. بس لقد أنا أزعجني كلامك عن الدين الإسلام وعن النبي محمد أريد أن أفهم منك هل لديك كره لهذا الدين؟ ولسيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عليه. Okay, let me translate what you said before we continue. So guys, he don't want to answer this question about women. They have a lot of desire according to his prophet because now he don't like it. So he said to me, I have a question because you asked me many questions. Time for me to ask you a question. Do you hate Islam and you hate our prophet, my friend? مرزو هل أنت هل أنت ضد الكره؟ طبعا. هل أنت ضد العداوة؟ هل هي هل هل العداوة من الشيطان؟ العداوة هي الشيطان. العداوة هي الشيطان صدقت يا هذا. إذا كيف تفسر أن الرسول في قرآنه قال أن الله سوف يضع العداوة والكره والبغضاء بين المسيحيين؟ فهذا فعل صار أصبح صحيح. إذا 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 ربك وهو هو شيطان. الرب ليس الشيطان انت من قلت انت من آه. قلت اسالتك من من لحظه سالتك هل العداوه من الشيطان والكره من الشيطان قلت نعم صحيح لكنك لم تجاوبني على سؤالي من انا الأسئلة. انا اجيبك الان انا اجيبك آه. انت قلت ان العداوه من الشيطان والكره من الشيطان هل 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 صحيح انك قلت هذا ام تنكر هذا غير هذا هذا كلام هذا غير مقبول انت سأل... قلت هل قلت ام لم تقل هل قلت أن العداوة هذا مسجل هذا الحديث مسجل هل قلت أن العداوة والكره من الشيطان نعم أم لا طبعا أوكي. بس طبعا طبعا ممتاز إذا إلهك الله في سورة المائدة قال إنه سوف يزرع البغضاء والعداوة في صدور النصارى حتى يوم الدين أو أنت قلت هذا كلام صحيح و وإلهك هو الذي قال اسمع. إنني إنني إله إنني إله إله أغار ولا ولا ولكني لا أريد أن أن قومي يعبدون غير إله. Okay, so Marzouk is he lost his oil. He is out of oil. So listen, Marzouk. ما دخل هذا بهذا؟ اسمع. هل الله هو الشيطان أم أنه إله؟ So when my God, he says, he is jealous. Well, he don't allow anyone to worship uh, someone beside him because he is the one who created us. Why you want to go worship somebody else? So this has nothing to do with our topic. I'm asking you. I, I said to you, why you said, uh, are, do you hate Islam? I said to you, are you against hate? You said, yes. Are you against enmity? You said hate. I said, so why Allah want to spread hate and enmity between the Christians? Is it shaitan is the one who spread enmity? You said, yes. And now I'm asking you, why Allah? If Allah is not Shaitan, why he spread enmity? He don't want to talk about it. He want to answer. Marzu, Limaza Allah yala Abu Dawr al Shaitan? Ah, huwa Shaitan laim. Limaza Limaza yadra'u al Bogda wal wal Ada wa bain al Nas. أخي العزيز إن أجبتني أنت فذا أنا مستعد أن أجبك. أنا أجبتك ربنا ربنا رب غيور لأنه يحبنا. الغير 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 من الحب هو يحب هو يحبنا فلماذا نترك نتركه ونذهب الى الشياطين لايك رسولك لماذا لماذا لا تجيب كيف يكون ربك الها وهو شيطان مريد سيدي انت لم تجبني على سؤالي لك سالتك هل لديك بغض او كره للدين الاسلامي دين أو... ش... أنا أنا أجيب دين الإسلام دين شيطاني فنعم أنا أبغض الإسلام لأنه شيطاني والدليل أمامك فهو دين ي... ي... ينشر البغضاء بين الناس لا أستطيع أن أت... أن 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 أتجادل معك في هذا الموضوع لماذا؟ لأن... لماذا لا تستطيع؟ Let me translate guys he said to me I ask you a question I want an answer do you hate Islam? I said, yes, I hate Islam. I hate it because Islam is a hateful religion, spreading hate between mankind and the verse in the front of you. And he's even targeting the Christians. So now he's saying, I cannot talk about this topic with you. Marzouk, لماذا لا تريد أن تكلم عن هذه المسألة? 
لا أنا لم أقول أنني لا لا أريد أن أتكلم إن مني أقول أنني لا أستطيع أن أختلف معك على هذا الموضوع إنني من رأيك أنا لا حسنا إذا فإن فإن الله شيطان أنا من من أزرع بين البشرة الكره والبغض بغ 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 الكره فهذا من الشيطان نعم هذا هذا إذا 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 الله هو شيطان إن الله شيطان إن إذا هو الذي يزرع هذا الكره بالبشر نعم ممتاز لتبي uh, لتبي أداني أترجم uh, مرزو وافق معي بأن if الله هو الذي sorry I'm translating in English and Arabic now uh, he agreed that if this is true and he agreed and he said this is true there, therefore shit Allah must be shaitan so he said yes Allah is shaitan then because if he is the one he really spread hatred between mankind obviously he is shaitan so Marzouk now he agreed that Allah is shaitan uh, shukran ya akhi al-aziz Marzouk li'annaka wafaq bi'anna Allah is shaitan hal farihtu al-an? انا فرح بانك اصبحت متعلم وواعن هناك نسبه عاليه جدا من المسلمين يا اخي الذين اعينهم مفتوحه الى الحقيقه اذا لماذا اذا لماذا كنت تختلف معي والان اراك موافق لم اختلف معك انت لا ت... لكنك لا تفهم وجهه نظري وما, وأنا... وما هي وجهه نظرك تفضل لا ليست وجهه نظري انني كنت اريد ان اعلم لماذا هل هذا لماذا لديك كره شخصي الى المسلمين انا لا اكره المسلمين المسيح قال احب اعداءكم باركوا لاعينيكم انا لا أكره. هل سمعتني اقول اكره المسلمين هذا ما كن كنت صادقا أ... كن صادقا هل سمعتني اقول اني اكره المسلمين انا أن... أن لم اقول هذا الكلام لا لا لم تقول انا لم اسمعك انا اتكلم عن كتاب يدعي صاحبه انه كتاب من عند الله وانا افضحه فكيف نعم. هذا يكون كره للمسلمين كره المسلمين المسلم هم من يكرهون المسلم المسلم قال له محمده لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى اولياء صحيح اخي العزيز اريد ان اقول لك شيئا انا انا أه 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 وكثير من المسلمين لقد تغيرنا ولن نقبل بهذه الاراء القديمه العدائيه الكراهيه لا نقبل بها ممتاز لا دعني اترجم مرزوق سين ذات المسلمين they are changing and they are not the same so he don't they don't accept such a thing teaching hatred no more so he was wondering he said i did not really disagree with you which means he agree with me about what i'm saying but he wanted to know why I hate Muslims. So I said to him, I never said I hate Muslims. Even my Lord Jesus, he said, love your enemy and bless them. So I, how I will hate them. So, and then, he's, uh, then he said, well, you need to know that more and more Muslims, they are opening their eyes and they are seeing and they don't agree with this hatred in the book. So, ya Marzu, إذا كان الكتاب كتاب يعلم الكره إذن وأنت وافقت فإذن هو كتاب من الشيطان. هذا الكلام صحيح انني لا اقول لا اذا لا دعني دعني اترجم سالت سالت مرزوق اي اي اس مرزوق واي سو يو اجري وذ مي ذات ذيس از ا بوك فروم شيطان هي سيد يس اي اجري وذ يو اتس فروم شيطان تفضل يا مرزوق اننا راينا هذا الكتاب الذي اوصل بالانسانيه الى البغض والكراهيه بواسطه عبلاء الشيطان م. الذين اعلامهم السوداء أنت تعلم عن من أن أتكلم أما تتكلم عن هؤلاء الأقوام من الداعش وقاعدة وهذا المجرمين هل القرآن هو من صنيع الداعش؟ لكن من يصنعهم اليابانيين؟ أليس القرآن من رسولك؟ أنت من قلت أن القرآن وحي نعم أنت من وحي. قلت أن القرآن وحي هل هو كان وحي من داعش أم أنه وحي من الله؟ يا من م... يا يا صديقي العزيز من اين اتى هذا الوحي؟ اتى من 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 يوحي بالضغط والكراهيه من من؟ من الشيطان من الشيطان اذا اوكي ليت مي ترانسليت جايز هي سيد تو مي ذوز ثينجز ذا ون هو براكتس ذوز ثينجز از لايك بيبل لايك داعش ايسيس يو نو القاعده اتسترا 
But I said, well, you know, but isn't it, this is the Quran? This is the Quran. Is the Quran is the one who inspired the, the Quran to Muhammad? Is Daesh is the one? Is ISIS is the one who made the Quran? He said, no. It is the, the one who inspired that is the one who teach hate. I said, who? He said, Satan again. Okay. So let us go now. Uh, 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 هذا يعني أن محمد رسول الشيطان. نعم وما بهذا هذه هذه ليست تجربة جديدة إن معلومة جديدة فهي. هل أنت هل أنت فعلا مسلم أم أنك؟ هل أنت؟ هل أنت؟ أنا مسلم لكنني لست مسلم من هذه العقيدة لا. إذا هل هل بإمكانك أن تقول الشهادة؟ نعم. تفضل. ولما تريد أن أقولها؟ لكي أتأكد أنك مسلم بعد كل حديث الآن وأنت لا تت... ماذا ماذا سوف تخسر إن قلت الشهادة قل الشهادة هل أنت مسلم فعلا أم غير مسلم لا أقول الشهادة لماذا لأنه لأنني لست من المؤمنين بهذا الشيء إذا إذا أنت 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 قد تركت الإسلام إنني أترك الإسلام نعم so guys, I asked him, so if you are a Muslim, can you say Shahada for us? He said, no, I will not say it. I said, why you will not say it? Uh, uh, you know, he refused to say it. So I said, did you leave Islam? He said, yes, I am I'm, I'm leaving Islam. So did you decide to leave Islam today or from before? هل أنت تركت الإسلام اليوم أم في السابق؟ إنني أترك الإسلام منذ سنة وأنا وأكثر من سنة ونيف. He left Islam for more than a year from now. Long time ago, so and the Turkish Islam قبل أن تستمع إليك صحيح. استمعت إليك في ال في ال في الزبن ولكنني لم لم أحب ال ال البرنامج ف فسمعت أشياء كثيرة ولم أفهم أشياء كثيرة ولكني عندما أحضر الأخبار وأتبع الأجواء السياسية العالمية والكره فقررت إنه هذا الدين ليس لي. Danny Utajim, Danny Utajim. So I, I, I asked him, did you uh, leave Islam because of uh, hearing me or not hearing me? He says, no, I heard you before, but I did not stay long uh, time listening to you because I did not like what you say and I did not understand some of what you say. Uh, and then he says, and I start understanding that Islam is evil because the news I hear and everything I hear about Islam. Tafadali Marzu, Takalna. أرفض أن أتبع هكذا دين يريد أن يبشر الناس بالكره والبغض. ممتاز. هو هو he says he refused to follow such a religion teaching hatred and enmity between people. وقد 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 ابتدأت أن أقرأ قليلا من الإنجيل لكي أن أفهم ماذا ماذا يتكلم هذا الدين. ووجدت أن أن سيدنا عيسى الصلاة والسلام عليه فأن هذا هذا القول قول محبة غفران ليس كره. He said that he started reading the gospel and he found that the teaching of of the, of the Messiah, peace be upon him, as he say, is a teaching of love and forgiveness, which he liked. فلم أجد في الإنجيل هل هناك أي شيء في الإنجيل عن المسيح يتزوج فتاة عمرها لا يناهض الست سنوات؟ هو يقول لم أجد في الإنجيل أي شيء. Sorry, I'm translating in Arabic. He said I did not find anything in the gospel about Jesus marrying a child. She is six years old, but like you know, like what Muhammad did. So, Marzu. هل أنت أصبحت مؤمن بالمسيحية أو أنك جست معجب بالمسيح؟ إنني معجب ومحترم ومحب للمسيح أنا لست مسيحيا ولا لا أظن أنني مستحق بهذا الدين وأنا لا أقول هذا لأنك مسيحي فلأنني أنا مقترع بأن هذا الدين دين الحب فليس في الكتاب كراهية أما في القرآن فيوجد جميع الكراهيات no. So he said, I am not a Christian, and he think he don't think he deserves to be a Christian. 
but he is not saying that to me because I'm a Christian. He believed that the Messiah deserves respect, and uh, he he loved the Messiah the way the the things he say. Uh, um, no. هل هل تريد أن تشارك بأي شيء آخر وتضيف على شيء؟ أريد أن أتشكرك ل ل ل لقبول في هذا البرنامج ال الذي ينور الناس ويعطيهم الحقيقة. أهلا وسهلا. يا ليت لنا معلوماتك التي أنت عندك إياها لكي أن نكمل في هذه الرسالة باركك الله وأطال من عمرك بالصحة والسعادة شكرا يا مرزوق السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام Yeah, he said, may Allah bless me so he still believe in Allah I don't believe in Allah but anyway, this is how he wanted to express himself so he said, thank you very much for having me, and I'm thankful for the information you share, um, you know, etc. Well, I don't know, I thought he is going to debate me and argue with me. It turned to be that the guy agreeing that Muhammad is a fraud. Uh, all right. Somebody is asking me a question. I am a Christian. A question about the name of Allah in Arabic, Bible. If we can speak about that, for sure, no problem. The answer is very simple. This is a translation, and it's a false translation. This is, you know, even the translation of the Arabic, by the way, Arabic Bible. If you go and you see it, you will see that the one who shared in the translation even was Muslims. So, uh, this is a false translation. Any uh, any translation, like you know, the Muslim here, they say the word Christian. You see in the screen, it says a Christian, but in the Quran, there is no word for a Christian except Nasara, and we don't accept to be called Nasara. But the Muslim translation say Christians. So same as those who they translated the uh, the gospel into Arabic, they use the word Allah instead of using the word God. That is a false translation. You ask them why, they said, well, those Arab, you know, we are Arab, we live in between the Arab, and if we say different word, they will think we worship different God, and, you know, that will cause problems, so they are true in taqiyya. This is hypocrisy, and this is false, and we don't believe in such a garbage. If you go, the op if you open the Aramaic book, the Hebrew book, the Greek book, you will not see anything. So the word Allah appear only for in a Christian translation, for the Bible in the, in a country, the majority of it is Muslims. That is the effect of terror. Uh, we don't believe in Allah, and Allah is different. A different God, you know. You ask the Muslims, "Is Allah is a spirit?" They will say, "No." But well, my God, our is a spirit, so we don't have the same God. If we have the same God. We will have the same nature. Do the God of Islam have a son? The answer no. So your God cannot be my God. Okay, is your God Allah? Can, can Allah be a man? No, he cannot. Well, he cannot be God then. He cannot be my God in the same time. Uh, their God have zero ethic. He have minus zero, minus 100 zero ethic. He teach fornication. He teach killing. He teach the children a rapist. Uh, he, he teach uh, stealing, uh, lying. When Jesus, he said, the father of all lies is Satan. So we don't have the same God. So the Muslim, when they hijack some names and they add them in their books, it's just for you. However, if somebody is a Christian and he uses a false translation, that is his sin. This is not from the Bible. We don't believe in Allah, and Allah has nothing to do with us. Allah is two words, Al and La. La is the one God. As simple as that. If you go in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 2, it says, Alhamdulillah. Even the Quran get Allah busted. If you look at this word here, and you look at this word here, you will notice they are not the same. Even if don't you speak Arabic. Did you notice what is missing? This letter here, the first letter, I did not highlight it, Cannot be found here. Do you see it? If Allah is the name of the God of Muhammad, you cannot take any letter out of the name. Name is a name. You don't add words. You don't take words. You don't add letters. 
you don't take letters. So when you say Messiah, Messiah. When you say the Messiah, the is not part of the name. Correct? The Messiah is not part of the name. So we can say Messiah. We can say the Messiah. Allah is two word. So here the Quran says in the verse number two, Alhamdulillah, li, lah. You ask anyone who speak Arabic, what li mean? Li mean two. Li, oh, let's switch to our English. Li is equal to two. So thanks to Allah. Okay, wonderful. So li is to what is left of the word? La. That is the name of their God. Thanks to La. Go right now and search what the word La is. It is the moon God. It's not something we can change history. I mean, this is, exists for thousands of years before Muhammad he came to exist. So no way we can go and do editing for uh, history just to make it fit with our, uh, let us say, agenda. If you go to the Quran, this God, he had many names. The same God, La, he had many names. You go to chapter 36, verse number one. It says, Ya seen Ya seen thirty six or thirty six here we go Ya seen Ya sin sin is a word now used today is used as a sin but what sin origin is when people they become a Christians in the beginning some of them, they still practice paganism, yet they converted to Christianity, but because paganism in their roots, in their blood, they are doing it for a long time. So the Christian, they say to the pagan who just became a Christian, this is sin, don't do it. This is sin. What they meant by that? This is from the moon god religion. This is pagan. If you go right now and search for the word sin, you will find that sin is the moon god. And the word Yah is a word meaning God. We are not making things up. Sin is the god of the Babylonian area, which is the moon god. The same as Lah. Do you see it? And not only that, you will see that this God, he have a crescent moon in the top of him. One of the other names of the God Sin or the God La is Nana, which is also called Sin. Ya sin. The Muslim they say it's a miracle, brother. Nobody knows what they mean, save Allah. <laughs> and this is telling you that this is not an Arabic word, and the Mohammedan they have no idea how to explain it. And look how funny what they say. This is letter is a miracle, brother. How letter is a miracle? Okay, I will make a miracle now. Foo foo. Yeah, fi, fi. But those letters are exist already. So what is the miracle in it? Tra, tra. B, b. You, you. But because it is a stolen name from different culture, different religion, they do not know what it is. Yeah, seen. How stupid is this garbage called? 
how far stupidity can go unlimited all right guys i think we have a good time today we don't see any muslims trying to contact us uh, so i will log off my skype look at the commentary okay i will do guys ahmed he says to me see ahmed the poor ahmed he tried to fix it he make it more blind ahmed are you sure you want me to look at the interpretation of the verse by the companions i'm trying to save you ahmed because if i show you you will see that they agree with me this is from the aramaic language have nothing to do with islam and those are stupid they are making up a meaning so let us go and see what it's mean according to the interpretation chapter 36 according to ahmed he said, let us read the interpretation, please. No problem. Chapter 36, verse number one. And now, Ahmad, he will be sorry. You will see, it says it clearly. This is Aramaic. This is Aramaic. This is Aramaic. Syriac language. Do you see it? Who said that? Ibn Abbas. Do Ibn Abbas speak Syriac? No. So how he can know the meaning? So he says, oh human, but in Syriac, this does not exist. So they confirm that this is a Syriac language. And this is what the language of people of Iraq, they speak. Ya Sin, it is nothing but a Syriac language. And the Quran says that this is a pure Arabic I mean, do you see the stupidity of this religion? How this book says this is a pure Arabic word, book. Pure. There's no crock in it. All those words saying the Quran is Arabic. Arabic. Here even it says in chapter 6, verse 16, verse 103, this is a clear Arabic. And not only that, it says chapter 20, verse number 113, very pure Arabic. A chapter 26, verse 195, it says, very strong Arabic. A chapter uh, 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 tw 39, verse number 28, very pure Arabic, and there's no foreign language in it. And then, your scholars, they say, this is Syriac. Why, your God was speaking to the Syriac? So, Ahmed, why you did that to yourself, Ahmed? You asked me to show you what the scholars, they say. Every scholar, he give you a different interpretation because, obviously, it's a stupid book. And the funny is, yesterday we were playing a video of Sheikh Omran. He says, the Quran, the Quran explained itself. The Quran explained itself. So, what you have seen mean? Abdul is asking, who wrote the Bible? Allah. According to your God, Allah. Allah, he sent the Bible written to, to Jesus. Are you against your God now? This is your city God. He says, we send down the Injil. A Muslim is asking question. He played dumb now. You know, like, what? Who wrote the Gospel, huh? Who wrote the Gospel? Who wrote the Quran? Who wrote the Quran? Uthman, he burned all the other Quran. That's mean many Quran. So now you have a Quran of Uthman. Where is the Quran of Muhammad? Actually, even the Quran of Uthman, you don't have it. You have zero page of it. Chapter 3, verse number 3, it says, We send down to you, Muhammad, the truth, confirming the book which is with them. What the heck? With, between their hands. So what does that mean? I'm sound tired. Oh, okay. Thank you for your concern. Oh. And here I will show you the genius Muhammad, how genius he is. Oh, people of the scriptures. So the Muslim, they keep saying to us, you have no scriptures. Your book is corrupt. And then the stupid Muhammad, he keep calling us in his book, the people of the book. 
I mean, how we don't have a book? What are people the book? Imagine you say to Kojak, the guy with the hair, Oh, people of the scriptures, why you do argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed enter after him? Like, what the heck? Here you see that Muhammad is mentally stupid. He is saying to the Christian and the Jews, you cannot argue if you came after. Do you see it? Muhammad, he gave us a logic, which is a priceless logic. The one who come at the end, he cannot debate with the one who came before. So why you argue about Abraham when your book came long after? But isn't it his book who came at the end? The correct word for God. There's many words. They are not, they are not even... You see, Arabic, Arabic is not Arabic. Arabic is a collection of languages. So in the Quran, there is many words used in the gospel and should be used. As an example, Rab. Don't you say Rabbi? Rabbi. This is the word Rab. Rab means God. My God, Rabbi. When you see the Jews, they speak about God, they use many words, Adonai, Shaddadi. There's tons of words. So, Arabic Christian, they should not allow any book using the word Allah in their churches. But this is an extremely hard mission to accomplish it because they live there for hundreds of years using that word. How you can make them switch? That need like a government offer, like a government who is a Christian government says, from now on, this book is not valid. We will not allow it to be in the in the floor. And need the decent uh, leaders who dare to stand against Muslim and say, we will not accept to use this word no more. But because they have fear from the terrorism of Islam, you see, in 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 Malaysia, the the the, the Muslims. They make the case. Against the Christians. And the court judge. That Christians from now on. They cannot use the word Allah. For this is not their God. This is from the Library of the Congress. I heard that some they, they have an appeal and they, you know I, I don't know even why even the Christian there they wanted to use it. That is a very stupid decision. But they made them, they forbid them from using that word for this is the, the, the this not this is not for non-Muslim. And I agree with them. Even if you are using it to refer for God, Allah is not your God. You have nothing to do with it. There's a million words you can use in the language for the word God. But because many of those who they are priests today in the Middle East, they are hypocrite. Like every, like Muhammad, they are doing business. They don't want to cause trouble. They think that this is the wise thing to do. I mean, we say Allah, but we don't mean the God of the Muslim. But this is taqiyya, this is hypocrisy. Here I see that in the year 21, after the Muslim, they forbid the Christians in Malaysia to use that word for many years. In the year 21, it says here, that Malaysian court overturned ban on use Allah by Muslim. And look what happened. The people, the, 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 the real Muslims in Malaysia, the one who support ISIS, Al-Qaeda, etc., 
they found that the Christians, maybe they are using the word Allah, and that will make Islam or Muslims easy to accept Christianity. Like, we believe in Allah. So he is not feeling like he is changing God. He is just changing some essence of God. But this is not a true. Allah is not our God. Allah is Satan. Allah is a satanic pagan God. So because they notice a lot of people are converting to Christianity, so now they say to themselves, maybe because they are using the word Allah in their churches, that make the word is like their, their belief is more appealing. So let us forbid them from using it. And they did. And then I don't know, it says here, like in the year 21, March 10, 21, as it says in the news here, that the court, uh, uh, like the, uh, somebody made an appeal, overturned the ban of using the word Allah. For me, if you ask me, I wish they never did. I wish they banned it forever from all Arabic Christian or any Christian who live in Muslim country. I encourage it, actually. Um... Any other question? You know, name is not really important much because you see, even when God is speaking in the Bible, he is not really giving a name. But this is not the right thing to do, especially you know that this word does not mean really God. It is a name of the pagan God. So imagine like you call your God Satan. And you say, oh, I mean God. And that's not right. So the excuse of what I meant, oh, I don't mean the God of Muhammad. I mean my God. So if your God is not the God of Muhammad, how they, why, why you have the same name? That is a false act. Because Islam is a terrorism religion, so those Middle Eastern, they suffer a lot, you know. I understand. I mean, I, I'm coming from there. A lot of terrorism, a lot of killing, a lot of humiliation, a lot. So they said, okay, we use the word Allah. That will make the Muslims see at least when we pray, we pray to Allah. They will leave, Maybe they will leave us alone. But did it work? Did they leave you alone? Yeah, there is some authentic uh, Arabic translation, but I don't know where to find you. The I, I used to have actually uh, uh, a link for it. Maybe I will try to find it. There's a couple of them actually, not only one. I will try to find it and publish it myself. And remember, even if the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they call him the Messiah. That still is not our God. Do we agree? People, do we agree? Changing the name of their God will not make our God their God. Like here we go, it says the God of Abraham. But we know that this is a lie. They are not talking the same God. So, even if the Muslim, they change the name of their God and they stop calling him Allah, they call him Yahweh, or they call him Elohim. Still, he is not our God. We don't follow a name. We follow a person. Isn't it the Messiah, he says, be aware of false messiahs? So, there's many, they will come and they will say, I'm the Messiah. If you are a fool person who follow a name, anyone he say I'm Messiah, you follow him. Correct? But we don't follow a name. The Lord, he said, from their fruits you shall know them. And we know our Lord from his fruit, not from his name. Because anyone can use a name. 
talk about Salman Rushdie. We spoke about him yesterday. And, you know, we deliver our message to the Muslims. Here we go. You try to intimidate. You try to kill. We will never stop. Actually, you make us more uh, firm in our stand. And we will fight even harder against your garbage Muhammad cult. And now more people will buy his books. And the one, the new generation do not know this guy, by the way, because his story is old. And now more people, they will start buying his book. So they thought people will forget about it. Here we go. You just, you just resurrect his book again. <laughs> oh boy. Uh... The funny, by the way, it says here in the news that the one who attacked uh, Salman Rushdie is, he said, he is not a pleaded, he's pleaded not guilty for attempted murder. He's pleaded not guilty. The filthy son of Muta, he stand on the stage. He have a knife in his hand. He stabbed the guy in his neck, in his face, in his belly. And then he pleaded not guilty. You see how they use the system of the Western stupid government? I mean, the guy who is in the stage, recoiled by cameras, bleeded not guilty. What does that mean? <laughs> ah, stupid Western system. You know, the, the Western system in the old days, in the time of the cowboy, was a thousand times better than now. You know, a person who commit a crime, they hang him. That's it. I mean, there's a there's a thousand people they saw the crime, and now pleaded not guilty. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, they are coward. You know you, how you attack a child, you know someone he is 75, 76, but he's Muhammad. He's he's more coward. Abu Rafi was way older than this guy. I think he was 86, 87. And Muhammad, he sent a man to assassinate him in his back. He stepped him in his back. Ummu Qirfa, Muhammad, he cut her two pieces when she is alive. And she is over the age of 80, close to 90. And she is a woman. So don't be surprised. This is religion of the devil. This is the religion of the devil. Uh, and now they will start saying this guy is suffering from mental problem Islam is not like that you know we know we know the game of the liberals at least they love the devil Islam you know one day in Germany this is a few years ago I don't know which year you can remind me uh a fire sat set in a in a camp, refugee camp. The newspaper start talking about the Nazi, the fascist, the conservative Christians, the you know the, the terrorism of fascism is coming back. Blah 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 blah. A million article around the world, in many languages, you know. And then they found that the guy who burned the place it was a Syrian refugee. The second they discover that he is a Syrian refugee, they start saying he is suffering from a lot of pressure. Suddenly they execute all the excuses in the world, they are there. A day before, it was the fascist, the Nazi, the ugly, the hatred, the Islamophobic. The same story about, if you remember, we made a video about it a few days ago. Four Muslims got killed. Biden, he said, he made a, a speech. We stand with the Muslims in that town. Those things are not allowed in the USA. A few days after, we discovered that the one who killed the four Muslims, he is a Muslim. Did Biden came out to say anything? Nothing. To accuse Islamophobic. What Islamophobic? It, Islam is a phobia. And now is the same. Imagine 
if the one who is in the stage and he was killed, he killed by a Christian. Washington Post, New York Times, NBC, CBC, all the garbage, they will eat you alive. We have killing and we have a crimes in USA every day, everywhere. So what if they are for Muslims? And they are not like for Muslims getting killed in the same day. Just because they are Muslims, suddenly now if there's a phobia and Islamic you know, and, and hate crime, so what about the Christians who get killed every day? Should we accuse people of hate crime too? How we know that the one who is killing them not Muslims? Or maybe atheists? What the point of saying Muslims? Why you say in the title Muslims? Because they want to use it for their propaganda. And they show you people are crying. Because only Muslims cry. Christians don't, you know. Every day we have a Christian slaughter in Nigeria. Slaughter in Somalia. Slaughter in Sudan. Slaughter in Iraq. Nobody speak about hate crime. What about the Christian in Pakistan? Biden condemned the hateful attack in four Muslims. And then we find that the one who killed him, he was in the funeral. He's one of them. Killing of Muslims, men. See, you see how the, the media tried to deceive you and fool you? They don't say four men killed in this town and police investigating. No, four Muslims. We have to mention the word Muslim every few lines. Muslim. Muslim. He was ambushed. 25 years old Muslim. Muslim, because only Muslims, they count for them. We don't count. Biden, he served the devil. He's a hypocrite. Why Biden don't go and say something about the attack on this guy, Rushdie? He's our guest. He's a very famous author. He have even a government title from the Queen of England, Sir. You know, Sir is not just a title. It's it's very high title. Why Biden don't stand with an author? Because he is a hypocrite. There's an election coming, and there's a small towns here and there. They have a big number of Muslims, so he won their vote. Already is losing ground everywhere. Hypocrites. So my friends, we are victorious and what we are doing is working great. This is why I say to you, download my videos. You see, my video is long. I try to make them short, I cannot. You know, I'm trying my best, but I cannot. Even when I say I want to go 15 minutes, it turned to be three hours. So this is what you can do. You can download the video. Cut it pieces, depend on the topic we spoke about. There's many topics. Cut them and reload again. And guess what? You can activate advertising in your YouTube channel. Good for you. I'm not against you to make money from my videos. But don't claim to be me. Don't call your channel Christian Prince. No problem. What about Dawah? What Dawah mean? There's nothing is called Dawah. This is just a joke. You can download the video. You can make an account. You know, you can watch in YouTube how to make an account to get money from the account. They play advertising. There's many. They are getting a lot of money from having my videos in their channel. Good for them. You can do the same.
This way, you can spread the truth. In the same time, you will get an income. Are you against having income? Whatever the income is, even if it's a hundred dollar. And then when you get really big number, then you can make good money. I'm not against you to do that. Good for you. But never claim to be me. Don't say this is channel of Christian Prince. Never do that. I will flag you. I don't. I don't. I don't respect uh, scammers. And we fight them. Uh, thank you, Sulaima. Uh, any question, guys? It's getting late for me, and I did not eat since yesterday yet. Hmm. Not sure what I'm going to eat today. You know what? I'm going to ask the guy, his name is Isa, to send me seven wheels. You know the story in the Quran, right? The chapter of Al-Ma'idah, it's called the chapter of Al-Ma'idah because of the story where Jesus, he did feed thousands of people. But according to Muhammad, it was a disciple of, I mean, even this guy, he perverted every story. I mean, he's a scumbag. According to Muhammad, the disciple of Jesus, they said to Jesus, well, if you God is true God, why he don't give us food from the sky, huh? The disciple, they said that. And then Allah, brother and sisters, he sent seven wheel in seven sandwiches, which is true. I mean, we Middle Eastern, we love sandwiches, especially if it's a wheel. So Allah seven send wheel, seven, seven wheels, and everywhere is in, every wheel is inside a loaf. Isn't it amazing? Uh, Rick, you can post this link later in the comment section. I mean, just you post the comment, people they can search it. Uh, do you know why women wear hijab? Yeah, well, women wear hijab because when when Islam became, you know, Islam is a religion of slavery. There is two reasons actually. There's a reason Muhammad uh, the, the the first time. The hijab was mentioned, it was uh, for the wives of Muhammad to cover their ass, not their head. You know, so that she was going out for bathroom and Omar, he used to spy at her and he looked at her ass. And even he said to her, we recognize you, Sauda. Uh, but the real reason, which is more important for the public use, not for the wives of Muhammad, it was because they want to recognize the free slave, free, free women from the slave. When a, when a woman, she walk in the street, if she is wearing a hijab, the Muslim, they will know that she is free. So they will not molest them or kidnap them. And this is even in the Quran. If we go in the Quran here, chapter 33, verse number 59, it says it clearly, so they will be recognized and they will not be hurt. So they will be recognized. Who will recognize them? The believers. Because Muslims are allowed to kidnap and to molest and you know, the slaves. You know, they can they can raid them easy. 
So make them do that so they will be recognized and they will not be hurt. So this was the main reason for this uh, garbage religion, hijab. It's just to differentiate between the free and the slave. And the Muslim, they have way more slaves than the free. Actually, in a certain time in Iraq, the number of black African slaves was more than maybe 50 to 1. There's something in the history, it's called the revolution of a zinj. Zinj is the inward. You can go even you know in in Prophet Wikipedia. Zinj rebellion. It gives you the history, it gives you the time, it gives you what happened. So you will see that all of Iraq, all the white Arab, they don't work. They do nothing for work. They bring the poor African from Africa, they kidnap them, and they bring them into slavery. And they have cities, and those cities, there's nothing there except black slaves. And when they have revolution, those African, because they become so big in number, they kill them all. And if you go right now to Iraq, I think you will not find even a zero, not even zero African. What happened? Because simply, they killed them all. This is the truth about Islam. And then the, the Muslim, they will go and they will say to the, uh, those, you know, ignorant, uneducated people, do you know what the white man did to you? Do you know what, you know, but the, the truth is, nobody enslaved in history as much as, not even the Roman, See, the Roman, they enslave everybody. White, black, doesn't matter. The Muslims, they focus very much on the African slaves. And the market of slavery was Muslim market. What is Morocco? What is Libya? What is Egypt? And how those slaves came to, I mean, uh, Iraq is not even in the border. Iraq is not, not a country in the border of Africa. We are talking about a country is in the border of the Persian kingdom. Slave war in the medieval Iraq. They killed them all. By Adam Ali, even the one who's speaking about it is a Muslim, supposedly. And the funny is, you know, the Muslim, when he speak against, say, he claimed that he is against slavery. How many slaves your prophet have? How many? That is something, isn't it? All right, I think we had enough for today. I hope we had a good time together. And uh, maybe we should give you a, a, a day or two off. Maybe I should slow down, slow down because I don't see you guys are supporting really the videos and you know we don't deserve really the low view after all what we do obviously you guys are not doing a good job 
If I'm a Muslim, it will sh they, they will share link everywhere. They will, you know, they, you know, the Muslim they work really hard for their garbage cult. Most of people here they don't want to do anything. They don't want to post a link of such a garbage religion to be connected to them in their Facebook. I know it's this is a disgusting religion, right? But you have a duty. I mean, it's not only me. All of you, you depend on me to come and clean the garbage. Anyway, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And we will see you soon again. Uh, we pray to the Lord to open the eyes of those who they are blind and to show them the truth and the truth will set them free. The Lord, the Messiah, he can open the eyes, but he will not open your eyes against your will. For the God of the Bible is a God of a free will. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. So we encourage all the Muslims to knock at the door and the Lord, the Messiah, will open for you. Thank you. Take care and God bless. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 